Flight Sports TV, man. That's my dude. I rolls with him. You're with the man said. It's Flight Sports TV. What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is. We got the Dallas Mavericks live. We got the Western Conference first round matchup. The four or five is set. I got a score right now off of a Zubach make. It's seven to four. Uh, the Clippers is up. We out up here in Los Angeles. Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, it don't get no better than this, ladies and gentlemen. It's 930 to go. Oh, Luka with the step back, nearly picked up the foul. Luka Doncic maneuvering all over the floor, kicks it out to Kyrie to P.J. Washington. P.J. hits a big three ball in the corner. Corner three, corner pocket. It's seven up. It's nine, ten to go in the first quarter. Here comes man. We got Kawhi Leonard out for the basketball game tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He is out. It's an honor and privilege to rock with y'all tonight. You already know what it is. It's flight sport. Zubach going at Gafford. Zubach scores over Gafford. Big time play by Zubach. I got a score nine seven right now. It's eight fifty to go. Uh, Zubach. He had a hell of a season this year. He averaged nearly twelve. Oh, Luka with the step back three ball. He missed it. Here comes the Los Angeles Clippers with Paul George. PG thirteen is in full effect. Here comes man. He was fouled and he nearly gets the and one. You already know what it is. It's Flight Sports TV. Salute to all y'all in the chat. We live. It's NBA playoff time. Shout out to Dex. It says, will the city of LA go? Hey, we, we never know. I'm rolling with the Dallas Mavericks on this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. I got Dallas. Here comes Zubac. Zubac is looking good, y'all. Here comes man. He hits the first free throw. That's a good look for T-Man. They're going to have to do something tonight without Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard seemed to never get himself together for whatever reason. I don't get it, but hopefully Kawhi Leonard. We just wish this man nothing but success, man, because the Clippers ain't going to never get to their ultimate goal with uh, Kawhi Leonard out. That don't make sense. It's playoff time. Here comes Kyrie Irving crossing half court. Here comes the defense uh, man picking up Kyrie. Kyrie in the mid-range. He missed it. Here comes Terrence Mann. He's pushing it up the floor all the way to the cup. Man, he can't convert. Here comes the Dallas Mavericks. They're pushing the ball. Oh, Kyrie Irving putting the moves on. They're kicking it out. Um, they serve in the dance floor. Here comes Luka Doncic. Luka, they're moving the ball. P.J. Washington, three ball. Oh, he missed it. P.J. couldn't convert it. Shout out to P.J. Washington. P.J. is in the playoffs. You can't sleep on P.J. in the postseason. Here comes P. Here comes um, PG-13, and you got um, Washington picking him up. Here comes James Harden. Now, James Harden, there's so much pressure on Harden. This playoff is not even funny. He better get the job done. If he don't get the job done, it's over. You know, I think, I think it's just easy. You just have to admit it. It's over. You know, you just have to chalk it up if he can't figure this thing out. Here goes Kyrie Irving. They give it out to P.J. Washington, operating on the baseline. P.J. with the floater. Let's go. It's 9-13. Clippers are still up. It's 7-20 to go in the first quarter. You already know what it is. It's going down. It's Flight Sports TV. We got the Western Conference first-round matchup. It's all set, ladies and gentlemen. It's all set. Here goes Harden. They moving the ball. P.G. Three ball. Cash. We got a timeout. We got a break in the action. It's 16-9 right now. The Clippers is just, you know, they, they turning it up right now. What are the Dallas Mavericks going to do? I think that they're going to figure it out. They're a good enough basketball team, you know. 
So just have faith in these guys. Um, J. Kidd, they're going to figure it out. I tell you what, if Kawhi Leonard is not healthy, the Dallas Mavericks going to win this series. I'm on record of saying that. If Kawhi Leonard is not there, the Dallas Mavericks will win. You know, Kawhi just has failed the Clippers again. They always have to overcome without Kawhi Leonard. There's a lot of uh, points that's on the table right now um, that you're missing with Kawhi Leonard's absence. It's, not, it's, just, it's just a horrible look <clears throat> for his um, future, you know, in the game. What the heck is going on? I can't wait to the day. Well, it's got to be a 20 for 20 or something coming out, 30 for 30, whatever the hell on these injuries with Kawhi. Um, but right now, um, as the game for starting off, you know, um, I got a score um, of 9 to 16. So you already know what it is. Um, right now, Terrence Mann got two points. Zubach got six. Paul George has five points. Um, James Harden has no points, but he got two assists and a rebound. Um, Kyrie Irving has two points. Luka has two. P.J. Washington has five points. The score is 9 to 16 to 7 8 in the first quarter, we got a break in the action. Um, it says flight Luke, it can be. Hey, I think so. You know, well, right. Well, yeah, because you got the Westbrook, right? Yeah, Westbrook going to be coming off the bench, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, I forgot all about Russell Westbrook. You know, they got, you know, so if he step it up, they're going to be in good shape. Shout out to Russ. You already know. We got the first round matchup. You know, um, I'm excited about this work, this series, actually. I think this can go down um, as a four or five. It's a, I, I think these teams are usually pretty much the most identical in record. So that's why the four or five matchups to me is usually a slugfest. Um, and I want to see how Luka deals with the Clippers now that he got some pieces with him. You know, like I said, the Clippers was dealing with him early in his career. He didn't have nothing. You know, now he got a weapon with him and he got a bunch of other pieces around. You know, Kawhi, his health is deteriorating right before our very eyes every single season. Um, they got to get it together. I think they move they move into that new arena next season, right? And so it's coming 2024. Yeah, so he, so, the, so they should be moving to that building. He, he got to get healthy. Y'all yeah, let me know if y'all in, um, in L.A., y'all done passed the into it, dog. So tell me what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be is it gonna be up there with the crypto.com arena? Is it gonna is it gonna look like is it gonna look better? It's a brand new arena, so I'm pretty sure they're trying to, especially Balmer. I know he's trying to outdo him. He, I'm looking they they're showing some of the uh footage of the behind the scenes of them building the arena. So uh salute to LA. Big things is coming to Los Angeles, obviously. It's good that they get their own arena. The Lakers, I think they got such a rich history. That would be like the Nets trying to share a building in Madison Square Garden. I mean, it's just come on. You know, and the Lakers got way more championships too. So that's that they have to get out of there. You know, they gotta cover up the banners and all that. That's that's crazy. You know, and they never getting respected. They gotta get their own building to get the respect. They'll get it. Uh, we, we right back with it. Kawhi Leonard this season is averaging 23.7 points per game, shooting 53% from the field, 42% from three. Um, very spectacular. Here comes Kyrie Irving, Terrence Mann picking up Irving. Man all over Irving. We got an unbelievable game going on right now, 9-16. Here goes Dallas. Dallas moving the ball, looking for uh, Luka Dodgers. Luka pick, picked up by Mann. Luka taking the... Oh, Luca in the mid range. Cash. Luca Doncic is money. Look out for Luca. Or all, all Kawhi Leonard could do is look look around, you know, in this moment. Um, here comes PG 13. We all know that's Brandon Miller's favorite, favorite player. We should see with PG. PG got a lot to prove this um playoff as well. You know, uh Paul George is not safe. You know, um he, he's had his playoff woes, you know. Uh he went from being called playoff P, you know, to all that, you know, he's got to definitely step it up and have a good outing, um, despite Kawhi Leonard always being out on him. But he knew what he signed up for coming to L.A. You know, um, here comes Dallas. They, they can't convert. It's 11-16, uh, 555. Here goes man, man maneuvering the ball to kick it out. Um, here comes PG-13. PG would have picked up by Luka. Paul George putting the moves on Luka. Uh, Paul George kicks it to Zubac, and Zubac scores it. 
A big play by Zubac. It's 11-18 right now, 5.48 to go. We got free throws coming for Zubac. We all know Zubac's game. He was playing out in L.A. with Lonzo Ball and company. Let's act like you know. Good play by Zubac. Good aggressive play. You're a big man. You got to be big out there. You got Kyrie on you. Kyrie can't do nothing with you right there. I'm trying to figure out how the switch even happened to where Kyrie ended up on Zubac. That, that was just sick, man. Um, it was 11-18, 5.48 to go. Here goes P.J. Washington. P.J. Washington off a rebound, crossing half court. P.J. shaking and baking, picked up. They kicking it out. They give it to Luka. Luka Doncic. Oh, Luka in the mid-range. Luka kicks it out to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving picked up by T-Man. Kyrie shaking and baking. Step back three ball. Missed. Rebound by P.G. Here comes James Harden. James Harden has the ball. He's shaking and baking. Harden all the way to the cup. They kick it out. Uh, he couldn't make it in the corner. Um, number seven for the Clippers. Who the hell is that? That's wild. Here goes Kyrie. Oh, we got PG on Kyrie. Luca, man, picking him up. You got a screen coming. Luca, step back three ball. You know, he missed it. Um, Zubash got the rebound, but it's a loose ball foul. So um, aggressive play, um, aggressive play right now. 11-18, 4.48 to go. We got Cleaver out there. Cleaver coming off that major injury. It's good to have him back in the fold. Uh, Paul George he kicks it to Harden. James Harden uh, picked up by P.J. Washington. P.J. picking him up early in the half court. James Harden all the way to the cup. Oh, he missed it. Uh, rebounded by Luka. Luka Doncic pushing the ball up the floor, crossing half court, picked up by Terrence Mann. Here comes Luka. Luka, he's fouled. And Luka going to the line for two shots. It's unbelievable. Shout out to Uncle Vern in the house. We got game one of the Western Conference first round. Um, the score is 11 to 18. We got Dallas and the Clippers. What you think about this series right here? What up, Flight? Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? I'll tell you, Flight. I got to go upstairs so I can watch the game. Flight, I got it on Prime. I was on my outside, though. I'm just now realizing that the game is on, Flight. Right. I'm, I'm, the, Clip, the Clippers play at Dallas, right? Yeah, who, who you got in that series? Uh, I'm looking at Dallas, man, because I'm thinking Luke is going to do something with Kyrie. Yeah, speaking of Luka, he just had a free, his free throws. You know, uh, so like I said, Luka, he a problem, man. Um, I think that he, right now he got the Clippers right where he want them. And I don't know if you know, Kawhi Leonard is out. You know, I don't know for the oh, series. But I didn't out. know that. He, I don't know about the series, but he out for this game. Yeah. So that's, that's going to pay dividends. And I think that I'm on record of saying that they're not going to win this series if, if Kawhi Leonard is not there. He's half, He has to play. He can't sit well, in the series. He, he can't lose. No, he can't miss no games. No, but I think what they're going to do, I think what they're going to do with Kawhi is – the more they win, the more they're gonna rest them. So if they can, if they can win tonight, he of course he's not playing game two, you know. I mean, but if they lose, then he got to play the next game. So they put yeah. pressure on Kawhi. So I think they just playing it by. They doing the same. Thing. They doing the same thing with Giannis out there with the Bucks. Well, I don't. know. I think Giannis might be a little more serious. I don't know. Uh, I think look, uh, uh, Russell Westbrook out here hitting threes. So we got <laughs> Russ out here. Uh, look out for Russ. Um, Russ got a lot to prove in this shit, too. Um, right, 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 right. Yeah, I got Luka out there with it. He kicked it to Cleaver back to Luka. The defense coming up on Luka right now is a close game. It's 13 21. They're kicking the ball out. Here comes Exum. Exum scores. It is 15 21. I forgot all about Dante Exum. You know, people okay. probably don't remember him from back in who the day. He, who he played for? Um, shit, I'm trying to remember the team that he was on. That, was he on Memphis? I forgot. But I know no. James Harden just hit a three. Yeah. Um, it was 24. Oh, he was on Utah. Pardon me. That's uh, 24, uh, 15. He got drafted to um to the Giants. Okay. No, um, here goes Exum to kick it to Kleber. Kleber, three ball. Miss. Here comes the Los Angeles Clippers. It's 15-24. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, offensive foul. Good defense right there uh, by – P.J. Washington. James Harden got some wild sneakers on. This I've never seen nobody wearing James Harden sneakers. His sneakers all purple, too. I, I hate to say it, but they, they look all right. Oh, um, okay. Nobody, no, I don't know where to get them shoes. You got to order them. They're not in the store. 
<laughs> we got NBA playoff basketball coming on. You know, we got Shea Gill just coming on later on tonight as well. That's really intriguing. Here comes Luka Doncic. Luka, step back. Over, over. Oh my goodness, Luka Doncic, cash money war. It's eighteen twenty-four right now. Here comes Russ. Russ with it. Russ going all the way up the floor. They kick the ball out. Luka Doncic playing defense. Here comes Luka. Oh, big time block. They better watch out for Dallas. Here comes my man, oh uh, man, Hardaway Jr. He, he nearly lost the ball. Looks like we got a break coming into action. Who's that, Lively? Your yeah, Lively is a problem for Dallas. Look out for Lively. That dude got some hops. Luca, that was a wild step back by Luca. Cash. Luca is a problem. You know, I don't know what's going on with this, this debate up in Dallas. I'm going to ask you a question while we got a commercial break on. Uh, well, well, everybody got this notion that Luca was better than Dirk Nowitzki. Well, I, I don't think that. I think that's kind of disrespectful. And I, I think that we need to slow things down. What do you think about that? I mean, Luca got well, a Dirk, 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 Dirk is the uh, floor general. Luca's the floor general. Plus, you understand me? He get he he, he can direct stuff and he can uh, <laughs> he direct stuff too. You understand me? So he he he, he a massive ball in trade. Dirk was more or less. You understand me? Um, control the thing from the outside is a big man kind of kind of way. Luca really controlled the flow a little bit more, a little bit more than Dirk. You understand me? Not, as far as especially being effective, they work. They both very effective. I can't mac neither one of them about being their efficiency. I agree with that. He can uh, uh, the Luke, Luke, Hey, hey, flight, flight, flight. Listen to me. No, you already understand this. It ain't, it ain't go high. It ain't gonna go over your head or nothing. Luke ain't no bomb. You get me? Nah, no, he ain't no bum. I, I agree with you. He control the floor a little more than Dirk, but I don't right. know. Yet to, I don't know yet to say. I think he got to get a championship. You think you you back. think Luca can make um ta Kyrie take a back seat to him? I think Kyrie already did that. You know, I think we're gonna see more. Okay, I agree. We're gonna see more and more in the playoffs. I think Kyrie is cool with if shit go uh, when they lose it to go all on him. Right, all right, 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 right. You get it. You get um, it. I, I get you. I get you. But I just think I think he need to win the championship before we say he better than Dirk. You know, I just think that's wild. Dirk, that championship <laughs> Dirk won wasn't easy. You know, he beat Miami. That was, Listen, when, um, was when they first got assembled. Uh, you right. Well, that's what he had. Uh, what's the name? Um, yeah, he had a squad. Yeah, he had that? Terry. He had. Yeah, um, yeah I, 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 I forgot. I, I forgot the other dude name. Steve, was it Stevenson? Uh, it was it Deshaun Stevenson? That dude was a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Deshaun okay, what? Well, the power, the power forward, small. Nah, no, nah, I think he was a small four. He used to get into him. He used to get into him with LeBron. Right, I already get he used to can't see me. Yeah, that was a problem. I try to release. I, I can't uh, try to alleviate that out my memory. Cause I'm a Wade fan. I, I really wasn't uh, really a LeBron James fan. I was really a Wade fan, especially when uh, LeBron was out there in uh, Miami. Cause I prayed him LeBron got LeBron got that winner because that's his boy. Yeah, I like I like Wade. Yeah, I, I, I cause you know Wade came up out of Chicago and he came up out of the um, south um, south suburb part of Chicago. He played with, with Central out there. I, I I came up out of that same area, the south suburb. And then also um, what's the name um. Wade uh, went to Marquette, and you know I'm out in Milwaukee, right? Yeah, right. Now I know Wade was Wade was a beast, man. He was one of the best players I've seen, man. Right, well, especially when he was healthy. I mean, Wade was a beast. He won that championship. I never forget that championship. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. You know, he, if he can stand up, you know, stand up. Yeah, shot. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, flight. Let me slow down for a minute, because if he can stand up with your boy Cabello and stand up with LeBron too. I'll tell you, boy, that's a good company, any uh, flight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. We might say we might say way better than Mello. You know, uh, oh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say all that. I think. I'm, listen, Wade was a beast, man. Wade was just a winner, man. That's that's all I can say. Hello, too. Wade, Wade just know how to win. Did you did you ever catch? Oh, I did you ever? Okay, I I um, watched Mel, the, uh, Lamella right, well, not Lamella, but I watched Mello right. He he sit up there talking how you know his days of Syracuse and his mindset and how he came up in there. He came up in there with the right mindset, even though they wasn't even worried about LeBron James. He came up in there flight, got a goddamn championship in this freshman year, fool. You done lost your goddamn mind. Nah, I, I, I'm I'm with, I'm with you there, man. 
Uh, I got Rush coming up the floor. We got 1824 Zubach. We got um, 1826 right now. Uh, so Dallas got to hang in there. Uh, we got two minutes remaining. We got a we got a big couple of minutes left to go in this quarter. Here goes Luca taking the screen from Lively. Luca being picked up by Russ. He kicks it to Cleve in the corner back to Luca. Luca pump fakes a three ball. Luca operating in the mid range. Step back mid range over Russ. Cash is twenty twenty six. We got a buck forty to go in the first quarter. It's going down. Here comes um, James Harden. James Harden shaking and baking. Harden three ball. Cash. Whoa. James Harden. That was a big three. It's 29 20. There's Kyrie with emergency slippers. So I hope so. You know, here goes Luca. Luca picked up by Russ. Back to Hardaway. Back to Luca. Luca getting the screen. He got a switch coming. Luca Doncic. Step back three ball by Luca. He need to slow these step back three balls down. That's all he keep doing. Cleveland, he, he got found. Coffee just found um, Cleveland. So we got a nine-point game right now. So you like Dallas in this series? Yeah, I like Dallas. So I play. Uh, what's up with Kawhi Leonard? When, when he going to get us up together? It ain't, it, uh, that's over with. To a certain extent, it ain't dead to stack you, but it's good to be dead to stack you. To a certain extent, what messed him up was that, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent, what messed him up was the fact they give him so much time off like that. Yeah, you know and then when you get it, once you get to that mindset, you know, you know, you ain't affected too much to the playoffs. And then when you come to the playoffs, and you come up short. I mean, yeah, boy, I'm telling you, there lies the problem, right? Yeah, you save me your ass until the playoffs when you don't do nothing in the playoffs. Yeah, you're right about that. Everybody can't yeah. be 50 50 in the NBA. If you 50 50, I, I gotta give credit to Anthony Edwards. I, I, I gotta pay homage. I was on record as saying the Wolves was gonna get swept. But I just think that's another indictment on on Kevin Durant, man. Kevin Durant, man, is a, is a clown. Yeah. Oh, hey. Right, right, Okay, that was you. I was talking. That was. Yeah, you. No, he's that a was fucking Dex. clown. You know? Yeah, I thought that's I thought that was drama. I yeah, thought man. that was Dex. I was talking to about Anthony Edwards. Boy, he gonna be something else with bitch with uh with Minnesota, man. I'm yeah, telling I mean, you, man. Especially dealing with 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 softies like like KD. Yeah. yeah. KD gonna lay down and, and let him just win. Well, he, he, he got good Achilles, man. I don't, he ain't gonna never be the same. Yeah, he recognized. He recognized. He ain't got that dog. He ain't got the dog. Hey, 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 hey flight. Hey, flight. I caught you with uh uh Phoenix um the other night with the uh with the outcome of the hate a uh, Haley thing. Well, I'll tell you, flight. How you like that fight, flight? Man, I thought that was crazy. I mean, obviously that's when that's the talk of the town. Um, <laughs> I, it, it was an upset. You know, I, I thought Haney was gonna win. I thought he was the better boxer. You know, uh, but I mean, I, obviously everybody was wrong. A lot of people lost some money. I bet yesterday. A lot of people last, made some money. Yeah, last night you lost some. A lot of people lost money. I yeah. bet. A lot of people made some money up over too. Yeah, he said KD got no dogs. Like what? You, what you say? Why? You, <laughs> I gotta see more from. K I, I don't believe in KD, man. I think he's a fraud. <laughs> you know, to be <laughs> honest with you, and I think it's a reason why his name Kawhi too. They they all they all have disqualified themselves. Why you see they they never talked about us. Hey, the hey, greatest, hey, fight, fight, they're fight, the believe greatest in the world or the hey, greatest hey, of all fight, time. Hey, hey, they hey, disqualified fight. themselves. Go ahead. Hey, Flight, thank you. Let me uh let me just say this, but I'm telling you something. I disagree with you so whole hard, dude. I'm telling you something. Uh KDA Oh no my problem. goodness, Harden just hit a three at the end. Yeah, that's Man, right. it's 34 22. Uh, we the end of the first quarter off a big play by James. We'll go, go ahead, on. Huh? KD ain't no fraud, bro. Okay. Well, if, if, if you get older age and you know, it's slowing down, it's getting harder. That's one thing, too. You know what I'm saying? That's to a certain extent. That's automatic. He passed the prime to a certain extent, I would think. I think he is. But uh, he ain't no fraud, bro. Especially when he come up and he playing flight. He ain't taking no days off. Especially the playoffs. I don't know, man. I gotta see. More. I, 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 yeah, I bet. I'm yeah, just yeah, saying, he do do some, his effective is something else. Remember, he played with some players that already was there before he even got there. To a certain extent, I say, look here, KD, you come in, y'all win the championship. You came in on championship team. Really, these dudes ain't no championship team, but they got some. They got some players though. Yeah, you said uh, they, they, they. What was it? Uh, didn't the Warriors win one without him when he left? 
A championship, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, so there you go. I mean, he got the they won, to the final. They won, they, won, they won one before him. He got there too, though, right? Yeah, I know. He got to at least get back to the finals. He got to do. Come on, man. I I swear I ain't going to argue. No, because Kevin, I just think Kevin Durant is a fraud, you know. And I got I got I got shit to back it up, man. Whoever want to whoever want to have that discussion, we can have it. You know, he's a fraud until proven otherwise. Every time it was time for him to uh to do something, he lost to Zach Randolph. Hey, 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 flight, hey, flight. Oh, fucking bro, three one lead. He could have had the war. He could have stopped that. This whole Warriors dynasty, him and Westbrook. Right, I got to put the uh, but Westbrook was a dog in that series. It was hard. It was it was KD who was who was flopping. Right. So how you feel about Booker and Bill? They cool and all, but at the end of the day, man, the pressure is on KD. You know, what come, you know? come on, you can't tell me the same pressure is on Bill that's on KD. It's not. You know, it's just not. The KD just Bill just riding the wave. You know, uh, but eventually they will get that due. But KD is the guy. They got a lot of – he got a lot of help. You know, now he got to at least – come on, you shouldn't lose to Minnesota. Right. Or get swept or go down 0-2. That would be devastating to go down 0-2. Right. He got to win the next game. KD got to have a playoff game, man. Drop 50, drop 60 or something. Let, let people know you there. Right. He laughing and joking with fucking um with, with dude. This is the playoffs, man. Right. You know, this is crazy. This is what I'm saying. You giving these dudes confidence. You know, instead of just crushing them. Right. Um, if KD lose to Minnesota, man, that's that's what that's sad. Yeah, I would think so. Say if, to a certain extent, say if, uh from uh, Phoenix, you know what I'm Especially, uh, especially how they lose too. If they lose right. in six, six or seven games, cool. But if they get swept or they lose in five, come on, that, that's yeah. right. I just, I just don't agree. You blame no KD though, uh, flight. Okay, well let's just watch the games and let's see, let's see what he's doing in the fourth quarter. Right, you know he gonna he gonna take responsibility because he's the main man. Yeah, he got to. Right. You know, Booker, Booker, do I? Okay. Booker okay. got an inconsistent uh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me going in the house center. Me in the house center. Me in the house center. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. KD, KD game is crazy. I mean, like I said, if you watch it, what's going on with – um, Booker, you know, because he, he just got an inconsistent play. Oh my goodness, Westbrook just banged it. I'm gonna watch out for Russ. Russ trying to get it going. Somebody got to step up uh, with Kawhi's absence. What? Well, I, like I said, I gotta see. Like I said, let's just see some more. We got all these excuses for KD. You know. Right, right. We really ain't no excuses. Right? Well, he, uh, he flopped. I don't like how he did. He should have came to the Knicks too. That's another. Hey, 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 you, 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 you saw that um, that um, uh, what's the name? The conversation he had after the game, after they interviewed him after the game. How you talking? You saw that all right, though, right? I, I didn't, I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. You know, he was saying the same thing. Actually, he was saying the same thing too. So the truth that you were saying, he was um, was blaming it on the team or nothing like that. He was just saying how good uh. Ant was. You get me? Yeah. He was saying how good Anthony Edwards was. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Is this too yeah, I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's what he was saying. That's what he was saying. It ain't like, you know, he was saying that he'd come up and just slow him down and do all this and do that. He was just saying, and that went off. And went off. And you already know that. So it's like, it's already a self explanatory. Uh, it ain't like KD had to, had to slow him down and do nothing like that because he ain't known for doing something like that anyway, is he? Like I said, we got all these excuses for Kevin Durant. Yeah, I mean, he's a good player. You know, right, well, man, 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 he's a great player. I don't know. He's a great, he's a great, he's a great I tell you what, he's a great player. I, I remember when KD had the dog. You know, I just don't see the dog. No well, he still though. got dog. Flag, you just got to slow down. Dude, the dude got dog, too. He well, got to see how they going to stop him. He ain't the answer. We know KD is good. He ain't the answer, though. Well, let's see. Come on, man. Go on, fight. We already understand that. You know, Katie can do what he can do. That's all he can do. 
Was it Ant getting buckets on KD? Otherwise, that, I'm telling you. I was say this. I know he up here praising him after the game and laughing and joking with him. And this is the first round. KD can give you thirty anytime he wants to. Yeah, but it got it got to be an effective thirty. I mean, thirty might not be enough in that kind of situation. It can't be, it can't be a stat pattern thirty. Well, I mean, what do you mean by stat pattern? He ain't no playmaker. Well, you have guys that you know. They'll just get their numbers. What? You know, just just know how to know how to make their, their stat line look good despite the game. They had no shot of winning. Right. Well, so you blame you blame their game on his game, right? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, I, I mean, I don't like it. No, nah. I mean KD got to take over. You know, at least at least a little bit of, of, in the series. Well, know? I know. Why? Right, right. Why you say take over? Take responsibility. Take over. Right. You, those both were the same thing. They go hand in hand. I understand those. Like, right? I understand that. I understand. They got to be responsible. Somebody got to take charge, and he the man. He's supposed to be the man. Right. Yeah. Right. I understand that. Chris says the thing is, Ant is elite two way player that affects the game in a lot of ways. And it's good. I just think Anthony Edwards is overrated, too. No, he ain't overrated. No, I, ain't I, never, I never watched Anthony Edwards play, and, and it was a hell of a game. He good. He no, I, watched, I watched that game. I, I don't want to talk too soon. I don't want to sound too bad. But I, I, I haven't seen the game like, oh my goodness, this, this dude is a beast. Hey, 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 I've, seen, I've seen it from Halliburton. I've hey, seen, I've seen hey, how, nothing, I've, 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 I've seen a lot of games from him, and I have nothing that's, that's okay. like, oh my goodness, this dude is. This, hey, this, hey, Fly. I, I, I don't have. know. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna tell you something. But I've seen the difference between them three anyway. Because you, speak, okay, like when I say three, you had already spoke of Halliburton and you spoke of uh, Anthony Edwards. I'm gonna tell you something. Mellow fit right up in there. I'm gonna tell yes. you if it. There you go. Now you're gonna get catch up. Look, if it came out to to to, to for them three right there, I take Melo over all the because Melo oh, I, I would too. and he got game. See, Melo got up on game before Anthony Edwards got on game. And Anthony Edwards caught up his talent caught up with his mindset. That's why Minnesota did good by working with him. They put him into knowledge and watch him watch films and uh, stuff like that. So that influences game made his game that much stronger. So he ain't like Russell, Russell Rest book. Sitting up there relying on this talent. He got mindset and talent to go along with all that he's going on with. That's how you look at Anthony Edwards. It took him a minute. Melo had it coming in the in a dope. I'm sorry, Flight. I was talking when you was. No, you're good. I mean, like yeah. it's, 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 and see, it's, and that's the yeah. difference. And, and they and, and they took they took, they took Ant before they even took Melo, but I didn't care nothing about that anyway, because I ain't want to go to no goddamn Minnesota, no way. I think that I just think that played way. out. So, yeah, that how that played out. See, nah, I, I just I just think he's overhyped, and I don't hey. like I don't like the fact that he running his mouth talking about he gonna be the best player and all this old bullshit. Hey. He ain't gonna be none of that. Hey, hey, flight. I'm gonna tell you something, and that's when I was talking to Dex just the other night. You understand me? When I was saying, you know, what I'm saying I didn't like that whole thing how that turned out anyway. When they did, when they did, um. When they did Duke, uh, when they did um, Lonzo out there at, um, at UCLA with um, Fox, and they tried to make it seem like Fox was all that. But then when it come down to the playoffs and everything, Fox still playing with Yoka like he been playing at first because he's only a one-way ass. Man, listen, man, when Lonzo was healthy, Lonzo, Lonzo was doing them filthy. You know, they had yeah, to right, right, get right. He, he was going back to the Pelicans. Let's, 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 do, let's do our homework here, ladies and gentlemen. Going back to the Lakers. Right. You know, so, and ever since Lonzo went down, this motherfucker Fox, everybody, oh my goodness, De'Aaron Fox. And, you know, he, he got to see his arch nemesis. Right. You know, I mean, I mean he, got to, he got to see his arch nemesis, you know? Right. You know, you know how to handle that. Right. You know, I mean, that's right. You know, you know what it is. Yeah, the Bulls, man, let's not even get started with them. You know, everybody, they need to clean house. That's what's going to happen. Right, that's what they're gonna do. Lonzo is gonna be back over there. Right, that's, that's gonna be for another conversation. You can big play right. Right. Uh, We got a wild game. It's twenty three forty. So we got right. the Clippers trying to hang it in there, hang in there right now. Uh, rap guy says Fox is a stat pattern. Fox and them, they just didn't catch people by surprise. They 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 a little fraudulent. For all we know, they're going back to purgatory. You know, um, so was, we never know. 
So, like I said, they caught a lot of people by surprise last year. You know, that every game, nobody knew they was going to be playing the way they was playing. This year, shit, they, ain't kept, they knew what time it was with them. So, shit was just a little more difficult, you know. Um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. But for real, I need to see a little bit more out of um, – I need to see KD, you know, stepping up this playoffs. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of – uh, I just not to say I'm not a huge fan. I just don't see what everybody is seeing with this this generational talent. You know, I don't I don't see it. Um, Dex says never compare Ant Man to Russell. Hey, 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 fly, hey, fly. Huh? What you think about the NBA getting rid of the G League? Like I said, man. That's uh, oh, so I'm going over PJ and Russ. PJ and Russ getting into it. They got to be separate, right? Uh, oh, okay. So PJ and Russ, they, they, they acting like they – Russell West was trying to punk PJ Washington. What? Oh, he hooked his arm. Hey, hey, PJ Washington doing good out there with Dallas? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You surprised? Yeah, what, it really was nothing. Uh, PG, PJ, PJ, about to hit these free throws. But, but the G League, man, like I said, it was all put in now. Um, for uh, hold on, they're not getting rid of the G League. I think it's the Ignite. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay. Ignite. Yeah, I don't think they're getting rid of the whole entire G League. I think it's that that, that the Ignite. That, that was the, basically that was the. Get players drafted. It was all a, a counteract what LeVar was doing. We, we all know that. Okay, the I get it. Yeah, you know LeVar uh, got got the got the um got, got the league going, and then everybody just just rode rode the way. Yeah, I get it. I kind of figured that too, actually. Other leagues too. You got overtime elite. You got a lot of them. Oh shit! PJ just swatted the shit out of Russell Westbrook. That's how you get them back. Uh -huh. that, that was a good play. That's how you get them back. Yeah, they just told PJ Rosh that he was playing with the Wizards. He was playing with the Hornets. Yeah. Oh, they did that. See, see how they do the Hornets? Yeah, you had Richard Jefferson said PJ Washington was playing with the Wizards before the trade deadline. That he had to be corrected and said, oh, well, uh, he was playing in an uncompetitive environment. Right. They, they can't even acknowledge the Hornets. Right. <laughs> well, well, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Look what they had. They're not going to acknowledge the Hornets. They're down at the totem pole. That makes sense. As far as NBA goes, 30 something teams in the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, oh, oh damn. Kyrie just got a strip. It's 840 to go in the second. Here comes um, PG. Oh, PG, step back three ball. Oh, in and out. Pause. A guy for could have secured a rebound. G League Ignite team, not the whole G League. Yes, the Ignite. Basically, the avenue to get players into the NBA. Let's get the cut. Well, that's a good look, man, um, because we, it just validates who we all know. Yeah. Clip, Clip is about to, about to be on a problem. It's a long game, though. And it's a Western Conference basketball. You know, they start shooting, shooting all these kind of threes, and they be right back in. That yeah. was uh, they'll have an opportunity to get back in the game. It's up to them if they take it. Uh -huh. But you know, basketball is a game of runs. Right, that's Dallas, what it is. Dallas is going to eventually go on their run, and and let's see if that run could take the lead or or bring the game close or or something. What? Yeah, see if they can take the lead. What do you think about Ann Edwards and Tyrese getting invited? Yeah, I think that's ridiculous, you know. Uh, nah, but it's good for those guys, you know. Like I said, LaMelo is dealing with some injuries, you know, that um, prevented that. But it's good for those guys going there. 
Hopefully. Hey, is, um, you know, I don't think it's going to be so guaranteed either. You know, these these, these leagues are uh, – I think it's going to be top heavy, though. Like guys like LeBron, Curry, they're going to secure it. You know, but if you just sent Anthony Edwards and Halliburton, and they wouldn't get the job done. Right. Well, I guess it take more than two All Stars. So, um, what's the name? Um, Dallas might have the answer. They got three. Yeah, man. What you say about Dallas? Dallas might have the answer. They got three All Stars. I think so. I already know so. They didn't think so about that. They got don't they still got um James Harden? Harden still there, right? Oh yeah, with the Clippers, yeah. But I oh, okay, that's I mean, yeah. Yeah. okay, my bad. I was thinking, um, what's the name? Yeah, with yeah, eventually they're going to um, eventually they're gonna need Kawhi though. Right. You know, so they don't have Kawhi. You know, it's just like it's just like Julius Randle. Right. Eventually you're gonna you're gonna get to where you need to get to. You need all of the pieces. Right, all the pieces. I get you. Yeah. And let me get the song. What is it? Is it halftime now or something? Uh, no, nah, not yet. It's about to be. Okay, let me get out there. Yeah, because I got it on Prime. I'm hoping to come in. Okay, good. Um, yeah, like it's not, it's not halftime just yet. Uh, it's a commercial break. It's about to be halftime now. But you have to bring it in there now. Right. There's a crazy game going on right now. Nah. Four minutes, four minutes gonna be messed up because I got prime, and then when it comes to my area, the bucks gonna come on. That's bad that to be messed up. Wow, I can't get the bucks because it's in this area. Oh, man. They're the box, man. That, that's how it is, you know, everywhere. Right. They black out. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's messed up, right? Sure you should. Mm -hmm. yes. There we are. There we are. Okay, here we go. So that make no sense. Salute to all y'all in the chat. We got a commercial break. Uh, Chris says, Will Lamelo make the playoffs next year? If not, what should he do? Oh man, it's time to get the hell out of it. I think it's time to go already, you know. But um, he's on the contract, so really, the only way he's gonna get out is unless he just make it, you know, go crazy, make it make a bad exit. Yeah. What you think he should do? What you say? Get up out of well. I, 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 what? Who you talking about? Melo? Yeah. He said that. Uh, he asked, "Will Lamelo make the playoffs next year? If not, what should he do?" Stay, stay in Charlotte because he, he's the, he the um, cornerstone. No. Well, you never know. They might get lines on, so you never know. Well, I'm telling you. I mean, I mean, God, leave flight. You don't want something going on. Some going on with um. Something's going on with uh, this this DeRozan situation. I think DeRozan gonna hold the keys to this shit. You know, because if DeRozan is not there, you know, I, uh, you might say, "Oh yeah, well now you can go back to uh, to Lonzo and Zach." And it's just, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, I just, I don't know. Okay, I gotta go up. You okay? He gonna be looking to get paid. Who? Lonzo uh, Mello, DeRozan. Oh, y'all, oh, yeah, right, right, right. I don't, I don't because they got to do something, right? They got to do something with um, uh, with um, what's the name? Um, 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 uh, what's the name? Um, the other guy, the light skinned guy. Oh, they got to do something with him. They got to do something with the four, the other four. That ain't gonna work out. They would. I, I, oh, I see. Flight is just waiting to see what um, Zuck gonna do when he get back. 
That's right. all they could do right now. If not, then they'd have broke that up a long time ago. Try to get them point guard. They know how to um, play. Um, um, play the um, point. They did not like that. It's way no zone. Exactly. Zach Levine. That's who I was talking about. Levine. Zach Levine. They. Zach Levine and DeRozan ain't gonna cause this at the same time with the Bulls. You know that though, right? Flight. Yeah, I know. All right, bet that's what I was talking about. Zach Levine. They ain't gonna cause this real long. They need, but they need to hold on because they gotta wait and see what Zoe is. That was the whole plan for them to get, right? Exactly. Right. I mean, what was they? I mean, because Charlotte wanted them too. You understand me? Bulls act like they wanted the more. If that's the case, there they had a game plan. Knowing their organization, their owners, and the mannership. You understand me? They knew what they were doing. They just got to wait for it to transpire again. That's it. That's all. As far as that goes, yeah, I see them making some moves. I don't see them making no moves at the end of the season, though. Why not? Because I see them waiting for Zoe to come back and see how it's going to work. Uh, I'm on your own, so. I mean, you know, they hope so too. But I mean, they schedule. That's how they schedule is. We talk about their schedule, how they plan on doing things. They ain't about our hopes. This is about how they see it because we can't go nothing about how they see it. When they gave out that report on Zoe, then they came out with another report on him said, yeah, he's well, healthy, and he coming in. We waiting we wait to see what he's going to be able to do. They didn't say nothing about no hope or nothing else. That's what they said. Right. Yeah, I'm wrong. And I can care less about what um Stephen, what's his name? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, Flight. We'll we'll see how it work out though, Flight. I see 2024 being a nice year from uh for for, for uh, everybody that's concerned. Might get wild after that, but 2024 gonna be a nice year. 2024, 2025 gonna be a nice shift, like real nice shift. Uh, okay, so he said, "Who you got, flight? Um, w- what series? Uh, for some people got Tyrese and the Pacers. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm I'm rolling with the Bucks. What time that game come on? Is that Max? I don't know. I can't even get it on this TV. I don't know why I can't get it on. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be. Hold on, let me see." Whatever we have, little sports. Okay. Oh, you got the Pacers box. That's gonna, uh, that's gonna be a hell of a series. Uh, um, I got, I got, I got the box, man. I'm not, I'm not just, I'm not sipping the Kool Aid just yet. Everybody think that the box is just about to fold. Uh, I, I just, I just, I still believe that. It'd be, Dan is better than Tyrese. I understand people ready to crown this man and all this old shit, but Dan is still better than Tyrese Halliburton, pound for pound. You know, and I expect you know him to show that. So all this old Tyrese about to go off. Well, shit, Dan about to go off. So you better worry about what Dan gonna bring to the table. Well, I think I'm gonna get that because it's in Indiana, ain't it? Yes, yeah, uh, no, it's in. It's gonna be in. in um, it's on TNT. But it's um oh, okay. it's in it's in um part of me. It's in fucking Milwaukee. All right, this game right now. What what, what channel is this game that's played on right now? We talk about um. Uh, I, I think it's on ABC. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Well, all right, good. That's dope. Yeah, I, I like it when it's on TNT. I can uh check it out on League Pass. It's a better stream for me. Better stream. Uh, they got like a um a mosaic mode. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I got, I got the Prime channel. And they ain't coming in. Oh, they, they come in. Oh, who you got in that Pacers Bucks series? Pacers and the Bucks. The Bucks. The Bucks. You think they can survive without Giannis? Um, Giannis coming back though before um, it's all over with. That's why I was asking you about you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying like uh what's that you were saying it's coming back with Kyrie uh Kyrie, uh what's the name uh Kawhi like you were saying about Kawhi you know he coming back in a minute I said yeah just like Giannis coming back because that's what they doing they try to play him game for game they try to let some games go before they bring him back healthy and wise like that 
because like you said, Giannis is more hurt though. So I don't I don't know. He might not come back like that, you dig? You know, because you said he hurt. Giannis hurt for real. Kawhi is just getting rest. Right? Uh, well, yeah, we don't know just yet. We're going to find out, I guess, game to game. Right. right. I, I know motherfucker hurt, motherfucker hurt. I'm just saying, motherfucker ain't going to play. If you can play, you can play. I ain't saying he playing hurt. You know, something wrong. So, I don't know, but. I can't just say that just yet. So, uh, and, and, and again, I respect, again with that, you know, I respectfully disagree with you. Right. And you again, with that, I, I, I would see why, if, even if it don't go good with the Bucks, I would see why Giannis would come back and try to uh, post salt or anything to go on with the Bucks as far as that go, because he wasn't there to finish out the deal in the first place. So he can't play like Middleton. Is, is Middleton still playing? Uh, Middleton is there. Okay. But he available. So he, you said he's what? Is he available? Uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I bet. I bet. So, you know, Giannis can't. Yeah. You, you know, because people might expect Giannis to come back and say, oh, this didn't work out with Dame Dollar. I want to go somewhere. No, he can't do that. That's what I'm talking about. He can't do that. He can't come back and do that. Make some kind of stink about it or anything else. He can't do that. And people would expect him to do it if they don't get to the playoffs and they don't win no win, win the championship. They would expect Giannis to jump ship or start talking crazy, bring, conf, bring um, confusion. No, he can't do that. He can't put that on nobody but himself. And if he do that, then he come back stronger next year. If not, then he's going to be a problem with the organization. And they ain't going nowhere after that. Because they got too much expectancy. Uh, I agree with that. Yeah, you got too much expectancy. They expected to come up out of these. But then they say, look at it. Uh, what's the name? Is um, uh, What's the name? The Boston Celtics is the favorite to come up out of there now because of the emotion, what they doing right now, how they going, and their core interest and everything is working with them. You understand me? And right. the, what's up with that Rivers, though? Right, like they got Doc Rivers right, on right. the hot seat. Man, just got there. Right, see, they don't, with the Bucks, you don't know who you are gonna blame it on, Giannis or Doc. So they ain't gonna bring the confusion. You get it? They gonna try to blame it on one. Somebody gonna try to blame it on one. So else gonna try to blame it on the other. Then they gonna go right back to Doc Rivers. Um, 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 how he how he came in his record, how he came in and. How many games they won? How they been losing? They can't they 500, you understand me? It's like, you know, yeah, I get it. I get it. But playoffs is a different animal. And if you ain't got Giannis in the playoffs, that's a whole different situation. They still lack it. And you can't take, you can't blame Dame Dollar if he don't sit up there and bring him to the champion. That don't work like that. You get it. But the NBA works a different order, a different animal. Yeah, I think that's what I think. Like, so I don't blame the players, I blame the system, especially niggas like KD. They <laughs> get it, especially as, as, as uh, I wanted to say this boy, I'm glad flat out was on this subject, especially niggas like KD because he's been getting it since day one. <laughs> well, well, I ain't gonna lie, it's a, the score is looking real nasty right now. Um, that, that clip is a way up on them. It's twenty nine to fifty four. It's bad. Are they way up on who? Dallas. Yeah. Oh, okay. James well, Harden and Russell Westbrook just had a, had a connection on the alley oop. Okay. All right. Well, I'm still expecting Dallas to win the series, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still expecting them to win the series. Let me see if I can get this game. Okay, there we go. Dallas, do it. Hey, Dallas. Can't get that one. They got a lot of weapons, man. I'm looking at the, the Clippers. Uh, they got too many pieces. The Clippers got way too many good players. Yeah. Okay, here it is. 
Yeah, it's hard to find. I'm telling you, <clears throat> they can't do nothing with James Harden. Very good. Books back. Jay Grant. Five. Books five thirty. Thirty. Mm -hmm. Look out for uh, Dave Dallas, Tyrese. Boy. Rap guy says, how long before people realize Pacers are playing that bad? I, I don't believe in the Pacers. Hey, 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 Flight, hey, Flight, hey, Flight, I'm going to tell you something. Okay, okay, with the Pacers, I understand that. Uh, look, hey, what about your boys in New York then? What, what's, what's the record with Philadelphia and the, and the Knicks? Uh, the, the Knicks won. That's one that. Right. I saw with, uh, what's the name? I saw the, the guy. He got off. That's all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he got off. He did real good. And the other guy played along with him did good too. Yeah. Yeah. So what you say is one it's what with one one what now? One zero? Yeah. Okay, bet. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What was they playing in New York? Um yeah, next to home court. Okay. All right, yeah, Nick at home. I got you. Yeah, so Miles, Miles definitely look at size. They're probably going to need another game to regroup. But they're giving them a lot of time. Oliver was talking cash money shit to Dan also. Hmm. We're gonna find out. Well, it's damn time now. It's a big blowout right now. I didn't see this coming. Yeah. It's halftime. It's, it's 56 to 30. Um, it's crazy halftime. Man, I can't even get it flat. I don't know why I can't get it, but it, I guess because it ain't in my I don't know how it is, how this works. I'm sitting up here watching on uh, Reba. I'm watching on uh, who is this? Oh, uh, Timberwolves, Timberwolves, and um, yeah, Timberwolves and um, uh, Phoenix, yeah, Timberwolves and Phoenix, right? Right, and, and there goes KD right there, and there goes KD, yeah, that's what I'm watching right now, right? The, so, um, do you think that Indiana can beat? Um, the Bucks. No, I don't think they're gonna win the series out of them because Indiana ain't got a, not Indiana ain't got enough. Of course not. So they got Siakam. Remember they traded for Siakam. No, no, but you know they got a rid of a lot of people to get a lot of people to get what they got right now. They course still ain't good enough. We going deep into no championship against the Bucks. Fight. Right? You know better than that. You would. I thought you would. They're not that good. They made that many moves now between now and then the last year, the last two years, they especially. They just got rid of people. They just got people just playing, you know, right? The East, the East is weak anyway, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I can see why they would come up like that. No, I don't, I don't see that. And they ain't been watching, I can't even watch basketball anyway, right? So don't get me wrong, I ain't watching the program until that stop getting us off. So, I'm just not catching up. But I don't see them doing that, though. Playoffs are different animals, right? I agree. Certain players, you know, and if you got three of them, you can go in the NBA. If you got two of them, you got a chance. And if you got one, then it's a struggle. You know, Minnesota got more than just one or two. But they still young yet. I wonder, what's up with Cat? He's still playing today? 
The cat played uh, the last game. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. Reed, um, Gobert, Gobert. I see you there. Rudy will go bear. Nazari, yeah, okay. I see you. I see that was 15, 10, to 10. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, we're in the middle of halftime. Uh, so right. see Ogden is a champion. It's a, uh, unbelievable the man. Yeah, the man's getting done. I think they just need another game. They probably quit already. Yeah, they down by a whole lot of points. Yeah, they'll probably have a better game next one. Who you talking about? Dallas. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, oh man, what beat? What what? Okay. They defense. What what they showing up with them? Uh, Kyrie playing good. Luca playing good. No, 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 nobody playing good. Oh, Dallas. Okay, I get you. They're gonna be bad, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I see. I see now. I can't. I can't bring it up. I don't know why they ain't on here. I can get everything else but them. I can get the Bucks because the Bucks coming on next. I guess they playing in Indiana because it's supposed to be coming on over here. That's at five thirty. Our time. Right. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, but I can't get Dallas though. Uh, I get Dallas Tuesday. They play on Tuesday at 8 p.m., 8.40 p.m. Uh, oh, upcoming events. Those are upcoming. I got you. Uh, technology is on for the flight. Don't tell me. Yeah, you're wrong about that. Uh, Technology. Uh, Thunder says the paces of transition merchants that will slow down in the plans. What quarter? What quarter is the game with uh with the, the Dallas guy? Uh, it's it's halftime right now. Yeah, then you said that for the third time. My bad, flight. I get you. I get you. I'm trying to figure out what we do with this. Where can I go? Oh, wow. Even with that Cleveland Orlando series, that's week two. How you look at that series? Hello? No, I'm still here. You're okay? Yeah, my bad. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's crazy. Harden, he got 20 points. Uh, the clip is got is, is 56 to 30 at the half. What, what was the question that you asked me, Uncle Ryan? No, I was asking you about that Cleveland and um, Orlando series. What you uh, that Cleveland and Cleveland when Orlando look like they're going to lose. Orlando do? Okay, bet. Uh, Hi, Mitch, 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 Mitchell playing good? Mitchell? Say it one more time. It's Mitchell playing good. Oh, yeah, Mitchell did I. Yeah, I got to give him credit. Shout out, to, shout out to Donovan Mitchell. Right, right, right. right. I'm nervous like they sold. I ain't gonna lie. I must have been wrong about this one. Let's hope the next game is better than this one. Probably so. They, they, they need to take advantage, especially with Kawhi out. Shout out to Chop. Shout out to my man Slim. The man should be ashamed of themselves. Siakam is shout out to Siakam. We got a lot to prove too. We got a lot to prove. Playing on basketball. Siakam played for Dallas. No. Siakam played for the Pacers. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, okay. That's, 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 why, that's why everybody thinks that they're going to win. They think they got more firepower. Yeah. So, uh, but, but what people don't realize is 
the Bucks got a lot of good complimentary pieces too, like the Brook Lopez, and you got the other dude, right? Um, or Porter, and Porter. Porter, yeah, Portis. You have you got other people. I think Connington. Um, you got you got a couple of other people that's on that team that people right. that ain't giving props to. Right, I already you know? understand. Understand. So that they keep, step up. That'd be good. Yeah, that keep you above fifty fifty when you got company. People just want to see. To be honest with you, what's going on with the Bucks? They want to see Doc Rivers just fall. That's right. really what it is. They want to see a, a complete debacle. You know, so right. they, they can laugh and they can start planning on his his firing. Right. Because the way they did Griffin, I mean, it's only going to end horrible for him. Right. You know, I, the, way, the way it was done, it, it's, it, it can only end one way for him unless he just knock it out the park. Right. Doc Rivers could be fired as early as next year. They might. They, you know why, Wilson? They'll fire Doc Rivers at the end of next season because I think the Bucks, their reputation is on the line. The way they did Griffin, so you got to do. They got to have to do Doc Rivers decent, right? And then I think from there you're gonna see. Once Giannis asks for a trade, everybody getting fired. You know, um, that that that's that's number one. Whoever the hell is where they at, they're getting fired. Right. And once Giannis say, "I went out," you know, then. You'll, you'll see it at the front office, shit, everything, everything but the owner will be there. Okay. You know, but at the end of the day, they got a championship out of it. So you can't expect to win multiple championships forever. Yep. Well, now, I don't know about all that flight. Sound good. I don't think it'll work out like that, though. I mean, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah I don't see it working out like that. No, because of the fact that Giannis ain't finna um, get up and sell out like that, though. Play. You see, you see him going somewhere else. I don't see him going nowhere else. But that's just my blind. I, I, I see him, him going to New York. Um, why? I mean, like I said, Brunson, you know. <laughs> yeah, I see him being happy where he is. Like he got to do put for some effort. He can't sit up there and keep blaming something on somebody that you know they not existing. They not ready there yet. And you see what the problem is. The problem is when it comes to the playoff, they ain't full healthy. It's just that simple. He got to understand that because his ass ain't there. So I mean, he can't blame it on somebody else. They ain't there, and the rest of them they there too. But he just can't get there. He just can't put himself in there. He got to understand. Understanding the best thing in the world, unless he unstable, he unsatisfied, he ain't satisfied. And I always thought he was satisfied in uh in Milwaukee. He just wants them to get the pieces and put it together. They got the pieces. His ass ain't there, and you just don't get it. So how can he blame? Now my point is this: How can he blame this situation with the somebody else? You so how can you turn around and say, oh, I'm not happy because Dame didn't bring up to his part of the bargain. I mean, got dang it, he right there. Yeah, we got a, good, got a good point. I mean, because the Bucks had lost a couple of times because Giannis didn't come in at the right. See, that's what I mean, right? And if he can't catch on to that then at that time, it was like a whole lot of games Giannis missed, came up missing him and um, um, Middleton, to be honest with you. And them the main clogs, the main ones you were wanting to show up. Either one of them was gone or, or both of them to a certain extent. Both of them were gone. But see, it's just, see there it is right, like, right now. Maybe it'll play in because of the fact that Giannis can come back and get these games back. That's what they're hoping. But if it don't work out like that, Giannis can't jump to him and say, well, I'm tired and I'm sick. This don't work out. I mean, come on, man. That man gone. It don't work like that. He has to know the NBA. And if he do do it selfishly, and I don't see him as being a selfish player, that's my point. Uh, you know, uh, in LA, Kansas, LFA. You want to be in Chicago or anywhere else? He could always do that a long time ago. He ain't got to blame it on somebody. No, it don't work like that. And then Dave got to play second fiddle to him anyway. So he got to understand that. So if Dave ain't holding up his part of the bargain as far as he wins the losses go, he got to realize Dave got to play second fiddle to him. So Dave, Dave, Dave Dollar coming in just on, on the new. And it don't work like that also. And he understand that. So that's what I mean. Why would he burn bridges to make enemies and blame it on somebody else? That's you don't do that, Flight. You give me, you don't give me, do you? 
No, I get it. Right. So you can't turn around and blame it on middle to middle to there. You're getting this little 13, 14, or whatever. You can't even blame it on Portis. Portis is there. You can't even blame it on Dame Dollar because Dame Dollar's there. His ass ain't there. Sorry, fight. Well, you got a good point. So, I mean, so if him jump the ship, I mean, jump the ship for you. You ain't got to blame no just jump ship. They can jump ship. The portal is out there. Jump your ass in the portal. You heard that from Dion. Yeah, I already know, boy. That's how, boy. I'm telling you, Flight. Boy, they're going to they go get busy. Hey, they going to get busy, baby, out there. This yeah, it's gonna be on this. Shit. They got an offensive blind flight. They got they got somebody that can sit up there and hold the pool back, so the quarterback don't get sacked fifty two times this season. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, I can't wait. And I was telling Dex the other day, I'm glad the bar went out there, how the dead him, you know what I'm saying? Show him some love and respect and stuff. I, I asked the body out there to talk to him. He did it too. The last time he was on our show, and last time he was on your show, I asked him about there how that. Yeah, he did it too. Yep, so sure did. You hear me, Flight? Uh, I'm listening. I said we didn't miss the halftime right now. Yeah. I don't, I don't like the halftime over with. If I was you, I can turn that game off. You know, you know who's going to win already. It ain't even halftime yet. You already know who's going to win, don't you? Basically. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> well, okay. If you ask, weak. Yeah, yeah, well, that's all it is. Just defense. A lot of people, you got to stop somebody. When you stop somebody, you got to have a defense. If you got all that offense and you ain't got no defense, it's a problem. They put themselves behind the eight ball in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, how's Luca doing? He got like about 38, 40. Uh, I'm about to look at his stats right now, but um, it's, it's not. It's not. They're getting blown out, so it really don't matter. Right, 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 right. right. Moving about twenty plus. Yeah, right. Well, oh, right. He's going to. It don't matter who. What the hell you got? Right. He's going to end up with. He's going to end up with. Well, you know, like you said before, the numbers. Yeah, this game is over. Yeah, that's what I said. You gotta, if if Luca end up with thirty five, I mean, did he have a good game? I mean, huh? but if you didn't watch it. To the US, US, to a naked eye, yeah, that motherfucker, motherfucker had such and such amount of points. Right. Just that and third, so, you know, it gets tricky. Yeah. So just gotta, just gotta be conscious of, of, of the games that these guys have. Yeah. Sure, I remember yesterday, yesterday this guy, uh, B, he dunked the ball, and then he fooled around and almost got hurt. Who was that? And B. Oh, yo, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, right, right, okay, okay. I ain't surprised. I seen him do that a lot of times. I seen him throw the ball up. He did that, what's the name, play, throw the ball up there, and then come back and follow behind and do the dunk. They fall for that all the time with them, don't they? Yeah, boy, I'm telling you. It's being so, yeah. Like, do you think he worked on this moves? We're just come tell him. And B, yeah, you can tell well, he think, don't. Well, no, I think I think he works. I think his injuries is really strong. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that no matter what he do, it's like he can't never get to where he need to get to because of injuries. Uh. Now he, I, I think he would have been the MVP race again this year, but the injuries got in the way. Yeah, I think he would allow. I think he's like Shaq. He just rely on his talent. That's the talent. That's what I think. Because if he did, if, if he didn't, it ain't like the injuries would be stifling him or anything. It's like his, like his moves, you know, will make, uh, what's it, oh, like, okay, with the moves and stuff down low. The boy made Kareem Abdul Jabbar is different because he had a bag he could go in to a certain extent. To a certain extent, um, what's his name? Bag is, it's not really developed like that. It's just natural talent. Well, um, the one that played for Philadelphia, his, his everything is natural talent with him, Flight. It's just natural talent with him being. It's just natural talent. It's not he got moves he can go to like that. Like a King Elijah one or somebody like that. He ain't got the, he ain't got no bag like that. He just got natural talent. He shoot that three 
All you do is move down low. Or you go to the uh, mid range again, mid range game. Yeah, now you got a good point there, huh? Yeah. No, it's but it's sense. hard to stop him though because you ain't got nobody that can, you know, they can get down with him like that. But like I said. If he was the type to look at Phil and just study the game, he could be a beast. He could be what Shaq wanted Kobe to be. Who? <laughs> um, and B. Right, if he was healthy. Yeah, if he was mindful. Not healthy, mindful. It ain't always got to do with he, he shoot, health. He's shooting a lot of jumpers now. I think he's good for that. No, he take, his game, he take himself out of the game, and he take his uh, team out of the game, too. He make it hard on himself. Get try to get them three. He tried to make that be his makeup, which is understandable because that's what the NBA is going to. But the NBA ain't going to. The NBA is he playing into the same thing because the NBA is taking the center out of that, that middle. And that's their whole game because they want to open up the middle. If he was a threat down low like Shaq and do it all the time, guaranteed to, and did get that 3 2 like he wants to, all the consistency, all within the game, he'll be a threat. Now, he, to a certain extent, he is a threat, but he just ain't got the mindset. That's my point. He ain't got the mindset. And it ain't about the injuries. He just ain't got the mindset to dominate. Well, he got it to dominate, but it's got to be continuous. I would think. Yeah. Hey, hey, you're right about that. What about the Celtics, man? They look, they look strong. Yeah, I still gotta watch them though. Flight, ain't been catching. I told you, ain't been catching them with NBA that much. I gotta watch them. I can watch them now. You know what I'm saying? When I get off the air and stuff like that, I can watch them like that now. And wait and wait on that uh, Bucks game. The Bucks game gonna be coming on in a minute out here. I really want to see that, but I want to see what Boston doing too. I know they holding it down though. Who they playing? Boston, they're playing, they, they're um, playing Miami. Miami. They look strong. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yeah. Well, shout out to everybody that's in the chat. We had a good game, 35, 61. Unbelievable game right now. Big blowout happened. <laughs> you said big blowout, huh? I thought it was going to get more of a competitive game, but I guess not. Okay, really. Thirty-seven sixty-one. Well, thank shout out everybody for coming to the chat. Big time blowout. Too bad it wasn't a good enough game. I thought it was gonna be a better good game. I guess not. Jabari's playoffs style now. He's rocking with Flight Swiss TV. Hey, hey Flight, I had one to ask you stuff. What's good? Hey, do you see um Kid Austin fighting secure some secure sometime soon? Well, I don't know. I don't know what you mean you by what, what, what all these fighters losing, I doubt it. I think they will. I think he will. He tried to stick that young boy Mason on him, but that didn't work, though. 
You know, and, and the thing is, Snowflake, everything working out to plan. I knew Haiti was going to give it up anyway. I just didn't know who he was going to give it up to. You understand me? But it's all good because we're working everybody's favor because this was one thing that's going on between 135 and what's going on between 140 that can change the whole system and the Boston thing. And there's so many young people just coming out. And them young boys coming out of better than them old ones are still up in there at that range, at that weight class. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be hard for them people like um, Haney's, the Haney's of the world, and the um, Tate Davis of the world, and the rest of them guys, because they're going to come up with some competition. It's going to get greater for them. And I don't think they're going to be able to hold out. And all this is proving it. It's coming down to a point where it's getting ugly right now. Uh, Haney looking ugly last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Haney went out filthy. Hey, look. And matter of fact, it go right back to uh, what's his name when he had fought against Trump. Music hey, mindset. Hey, flight. Hey, they go right back to what's his name when he fought against Fluff, Crawford, Crawford, right? Right. See how ugly that turned out? To these, yeah. so, to these so-called paper champions. Right. Yeah. It, it don't, that wasn't an ass whooping. That was a butt. I said it wasn't an ass whooping. It was a butt whooping. But yeah, flight. It's going to be a lot of those. A lot of exposures are going to be going on real soon. Yeah. 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 Whole lot of things going to be happening. Dallas still winning. I mean, of the Clippers. <laughs> Should Oscar De La Hoya said that they're not they're not looking for no rematch with Haney. He got destroyed. They're moving on. Oh uh, no! Oh, he said that. Yeah, I mean it, that that's their best bet. Don't rematch Haney. He fuck around and win. No, they got to rematch. They go no, they gonna rematch that fight. Um, what's their um 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 Golden Boy getting the, doing the promotion on that one? They get they end up. Haney got the most money on the first fight. You know they're going to do a second on that. That's when Golden Boy called all the shots. Like he said last night, um, 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 what's, um, they, that dude, what's the day? He called in the shots. Of course it's going to be a rematch. That's the money. Unless he turned around to get a rematch with Tank, unless Tank come in and say, look, I want a rematch with you. And I don't think he want to go that route faster than he want to go against Haney. That's for show money. He just gonna take the um, golden boy gonna take the tail end this time. You know the business, man. They can't turn that down. Uh -huh. It ain't you know unless what's it ain't gonna run. And I know Bill, um, Bill Haney ain't gonna run from that money. <laughs> Bill. No, he ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna run from that money. And, <laughs> gonna, and the son ain't scared like that. His son want to prove something, but I don't think he's going to be able to prove what he's thinking he's going to prove. He's just going to prove everybody right. That he ain't like that. No, he ain't like that. What's the name? Ain't like that neither. Who? Huh? Who? Uh, what's the name? The one that just won the fight last night. That uh, Mexican dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Like right, right, right. Got sealed. Ryan got sealed. Ryan got sealed. My bad. Got, yeah. I mean, like I said, Devin, he got caught. Yeah, yeah. He kept on getting caught. Yeah, you right. And then Haiti ain't got to tell you, but that counter wasn't working for him last night. I'm going to tell you something. He came in that fight. I'm going to tell you, um, Flight. He came in that whole fight scared. He was scared from before he got knocked down, before he got hit real good with that left. He was scared then. His whole thing, he, he didn't come into no <laughs> game plan. Hey, you, know, he you, know, you know he got dropped, too. I already know. The I couldn't believe when he fell. Right, I he said, got oh, my goodness. Yeah, 
Yeah, I saw that. I saw I saw the whole flight. I saw the whole flight. I saw it about uh, about three times already. Yeah, I saw it last night and I saw it about three times already. I saw the reruns. That's up. I saw when you uh what's the name you and um 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 Phonics was talking about it. So what what's good? We got music mindset, what's good? What's what's up with you, Flay? What's the word, man? What's good? I, I appreciate you was coming through. This yeah, your first man. Time, no, this pro this my second time. <laughs> yeah, but yo, check this out. No rematches. It's not gonna happen, man. At least not now. Number one, Devin need to take about four to five months off, man, and just really get his mind right, get that jaw right, and get his spirit right, man. Uh, he hey, need to. Hey, he, hey, he, hey. Hey, hey, hold, on. Let, I, hold on, on. Let, let me hold on. Let me hold on. Hold, hold on, on. Before you keep going, are, Yo, you a, 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 are you a licensed psychologist? No, bro. I'm I'm about to let you know what's happening. Okay, I got you. Let me let me let me spit. Go ahead. Sure. Number yeah. one, listen. Number one, this kid got man. He got he got beat up, bro. All right, and you gotta you gotta let those injuries. You gotta let these injuries heal, man. You know what I'm saying? So Ryan's not going to sit around and tell his brother heal. He not only need to heal physically, but he needs to heal mentally. And he's going to have to make some changes in his camp. Uh, Devin has, Devin, ha check this out. Huh? Devin has to go and get him a train in there. Not his daddy. Let his daddy do that talking he do. All right. But he needs to go get a trainer that's going to focus on Devin and may help Devin to make adjustments. Devin had, had some great people in his corner, man, from Roy Jones, Floyd me with a senior. He brought the kid Benjamin from, from overseas, from the, across the pond. A lot of people, Zab Judah is his godfather. Man, he got a lot of tools in his Roy Jones. He got a lot of tools. But last night, for him to show that weakness of defense, I was very surprised being that he worked with Floyd Sr., who Floyd Mayweather and Roger in, in, in Senior talks about, you know what I'm saying, is the game of not getting hit, hit and not getting hit. Devin, right. I, I think I think Devin would happen in his early rounds. I think his dad, it sees a lot of things that happen with this fight. Ryan was trolling. Uh, uh, Devin's daddy was talking big old talk. That's that's and, all the time. And 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 Devin, Devin, bro, Devin had a lot on his shoulders, man. You know, I, I hear these, I hear a lot of bloggers, everybody saying, oh, the three pounds. Well, Ryan was smart. And Ryan was like, look, I made 30, 31, 32 with Tank. That little one million y'all gonna charge me ain't nothing. I'm gonna pay that, but I'm not gonna go in this fight weak, super weak. I, I'm trying to understand if people understand, you know what I'm saying, with this hydration and you know what I'm saying? Not making weight and making weight. Man, Devin, every time he, he go to make weight, man, he professional, but he's looking like Skeletor, man. He's looking, his eyes sunken in, his face sunken in, and he got to get that Pedialyte soon as he turn around off the scale after the face off. He got to eat something, and you know, when you're not eating like that, you're going to use it. It's a lot going on, man, and Ryan was just too strong and too fast for Devin, man. Right. Like I said, this was like when Devin said he was, he was disappointed in his performance. Was wow, you gotta get it together. You know, man. A lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of people got caught up in Ryan as a YouTuber. He's a TikToker, and I would advise even Kid Austin, who I really, really like. I would advise Kid Austin to hire a social media manager. And get his fan base up, real fans. Get his fan base up, bro, so he can get these big fights. Because what's gonna be the problem with Kid Austin is these boxers who know Kid Austin is gonna put hands on him. They're gonna be saying, "Oh, who has he fought?" He, his fan base, light man, Kid Austin is the real deal. And what they don't want to say is Kid Austin has star quality. And I'm gonna tell you why. When he went to that. I think it was Errol Spence and uh, Garcia, Danny Garcia, fight in Dallas. Go, go yeah. review the, go review the tapes. When that boy was walking around that place, man, these, man, these females was flocking to this boy to take pictures. He, it reminded me of the Gar Ryan Garcia, the Vargas uh, brothers. Man, not bro. He's recognizable, bro. Like. They got to get him. They got to get in these fights. But guess what, Flight? A lot of people ain't going to go in there with him because they know 
This kid has skills. He has confidence and he has power. And I'm going to tell you something else with Devin and uh, Kid Austin. I love that Kid Austin's dad said he's not big on the sparring with his son because they know that sparring in camp, man, with these camps, man, can take a lot at you before you even get to the flight. fight. Floyd Mayweather said it. Go see Danny Garcia and his dad talking about it. He's preserving Kid Austin because he knows that kid has skills. Devin is over sport. He left Floyd Mayweather senior. He should have kept Church, his hype man in his corner. Look like since when, when they got rid of Church, man, Devin hasn't been the same, man. Man, that confidence, man, Muhammad Ali had, I forget the guy's name, talking, yes, just talking that big talk for Ali. When Ali was a big talker. You got to have that man as a fighter, man. Not it. Ryan don't have it. Ryan just straight up confident. Ryan is a dog, man. They better give Ryan some credit, man. Or Ryan going to start beating some of you, some of your favorites, man. <laughs> and then nobody going to have nothing to say, man. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Ryan is the truth, man. Um, like I said, that hook. Um, but like I said, Kid Austin, um, I even put it out on IG. He, he, he exposed him, you know, first. Devin. He was letting people know that Devin wasn't really all like us. Devin, he sparred Devin back in the days. So he was able to, you know, he he cracked Devin. You know, I mean, heard that he he buckled him. That was the report. So, from so that was there. Kid Austin buckled Devin um, in, in sparring. When, so, 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 Flight, imagine this. Kid Austin put hands on him. Tank put hands on him. And no telling who else. That's it. That's just in sparring. If you go, if you go and listen to Devin's interviews, when he's speaking, Devin has a little bit of speech problems. His 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 words kind of slur. He kind of stutter. And listen, man, Devin is a hell of a fighter, man. And there's going to be a lot of fights for Devin out there. And he's still the champion if they don't strip him. Listen, right now, Devin got about three fights. Once he heal up and get his mind right and get his team right and his daddy makes some evaluations, they have some fights. Guess what? Now is the time for him to come back and come back and fight who? Kid Austin. Now is the time for him to come back and fight Gary Russell. Now is the time for him to come back and fight Roley, who been trolling Devin for a long time. Come make your statement against Roley. You know what I'm saying? Richardson. It's some fights for, for Devin to have. Man, Devin is Devin, Devin, Devin got some skills, but last night, I, and, and another thing, man, what kind of boots this kid had on? Man, what he was trying to do, make a fashion statement? What is this? This boy looked like he had on some Uggs, some Balenciagas. What is that? Come on, man. Man, this ain't no fashion show, bro. Like, Ryan, man, look, man. Now what I'm hearing, they're ready to throw Ryan to the wolves. All right? And if I was Boots, I wouldn't fall for it because Boots going to destroy Ryan. Nobody can tell me no different. Ryan not ready for no boots, man, at all. Boots is a different kind of animal, all right? But they was asking Ryan when he was walking, who you, he said, I'm moving up 147. And they said, oh, the fight boots? He said, uh, who's that? He's like, boots in. It's at 147. He said, yeah, let's run it. No, Dev, I mean, listen, Ryan, that ain't what you, what, what you want to do. If he fight boots, he's going to be done. Boots going to destroy him. And I like Ryan. But Boots is nothing to play with, bro, in that ring, man. With his dad, Bozy in us, man, they're going to walk Ryan down like he think he pretty. After this fight, he's going to be done, bro. <laughs> he's going to be super done. So that ain't where he want to go. I think Ryan's next fight, big fight and a good fight, fight Teofamo Lopez. At 145, 147, whatever it is. Oh, man, Tio. Who, who gonna fight Tio? Tio ain't nothing to fuck with either. Ryan better stay away from Tio. Tio, no. Man, I got Tio with Ryan. Listen, check this out, Flight. Tio's not stupid. You know, this not, no, no. See, now we're about to get into something. We don't make me want to change the title. We're getting but in the box. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but check, but, check, but, hey, but check this out, Flight. That's the fight to make. That's the fight to make. Right. Listen, man, when you fight, what, what Canelo say? You want payday? If you want payday, <laughs> Ryan is the one you want to fight, bro. But you got to have a following. You got to have some titles. You have to have a fan base, bro. If you don't have that, please don't call Ryan out. 
it ain't happening. Build your fan base, get your social media up, all right? And you can have your payday. Tiafama Lopez, what he's a three-time world champion, whatever he is, that's the fight to make for Ryan. Nothing else. No rematch with no Devin Haney. Devin Haney has a lot of soul searching to do to get him get his mind right, bro. He took a lashing last night flight. Let's keep it funky. This kid's jaw, his face, it's not, bro. It's not looking good, man. He has to get all that checked out. And, bro, go on a nice vacation of Bahamas somewhere. Go to Greece, Monaco, and just go relax. Go with your girl. Go chill, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then come back and get in the gym. Start doing some, some work, some whatever, however they do. And then focus on who's your opponent. I think Devin's next fight should be Roly. Because they're going to, you know, he a tune-up for a big fight. Roley is a tune-up. But I'm going to be honest with you. Roley not going to play with, with uh, Devin Haney, man. Devin Haney has to be serious when he fight Roley. Because, bro, one thing about Roley, Roley got some power. If Roley get back to Roley, Roley was in the same with Pitbull, bro. Yeah, I, I, I've seen a different Roley, man. He should have stayed with that brother. I forget his name. He should have stayed with that trainer, man. I don't, I don't know what he's doing, but hey, that's their world. I'm just here to watch, bro. But I think Devin, when he come back, fight Roley. Hitch, or Hitchens, Richardson, fight Richardson. Fight Shakur. But don't go fight no pit bull. Don't go rematch with no Ryan Garcia. Because if he rematched Ryan, and Ryan do what he did him again, oh, he's done. He's done. He's a gatekeeper now at a young age. No, I'm with you. Like I said, bro, how surprised was you that uh, Ryan was able to land that left hook and how Devin was able to just open up? Because I don't think nobody, a lot of people lost money yesterday. You know that. Oh, of course. My cousin lost money. My, I think my cousin lost like 1500 or something like that. Yeah, he he's, he's man, he's mad. He's He called me cursing. I'm like, why are you calling me cursing? I told you bet on Ryan. You know what I'm saying? But what happened with uh with Devin, man, um Devin came in that ring, man, with the with his dad's mindset. And I was very surprised. I think Devin thought it was thinking, man, I done had all these trainers, the Roy Jones and all that. Who has Ryan has? Okay, he has Derrick James. Man, Derrick James is no joke, bro. They gotta give that man his flowers, man. All right. Yo, and I, when, was saying, I was saying that yesterday with Phonics. Did you? I don't know if you peeped the video. Um, but basically, this was a huge win for Derrick James, man. You know, with all the shit going on with Spence, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, this was big, man. I'm telling. I think this put he needed to get back in the winning circle, and the way they dominated him, mm -hmm. you know, James is back where he needed to be now. Yeah, man. I mean, Derrick, check this out, flight. Let me let me show you how crazy people are, brother. Ryan was trolling, building a fight. He's a TikTok. He's a YouTuber. He's an Instagram. He everything Ryan was talking about, all these conspiracy theories. If people do their research, man, people been talking about that since the pandemic, my brother. Since the pandemic, Ryan was bringing, and people was like, "Oh my God, he said this." He he, bro. They've been talking about that since the pandemic. These conspiracy theories, but Ryan understands social media. But guess what? He also understands. He understand about putting hands on somebody. <clears throat> and that's, bro, he puts hands. Listen, when he fought Duarte after Tank, this is what they were saying. Well, that's a dangerous fight. Duarte is a knockout on this, et cetera, et cetera. Man, Ryan took that challenge. And what he did to Duarte, destroyed him. Man, at some point, they're going to have to give this kid his props, man. I'm not saying, say, he the next Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard and all this. Floyd Mayweather, but man, he's knocking people out, man. I mean, come on, man. Look what he did for Tuna. He hit that boy what they call a ghost punch. They had to slow it down to see it, man. That kid is super fast, man. <laughs> like, bro, Devin, again, Devin should have kept Floyd Mayweather Sr. in his camp. Everything Devin threw. Derrick James was teaching Ryan how to catch, how to catch. Ryan didn't have that in his bag before.
Hey man, it is what it is, bro. I know a lot of people are done, upset, disappointed. And I heard so many narratives. They spending it. Oh, the three pounds was different. Well, guess what? Look when uh um, well check this, well check this out, flight. When Devin fought Regis, he came in at 162, 165. I didn't hear nobody crying about that. You got the mathematics. You bring the mathematics out. Huh? I, I, I didn't hear nobody crying about that. Listen, what happened was Ryan decided, man, y'all not going to weight drain me. Don't forget, I made $31, $32 million with Tank. I done had endorsements. I got the bag. So whatever I come in weight and y'all want to charge me, that's paid in full. And Devin, here's your 500K, but you're about to get this whipping. Man, Ryan got that money back and some. <laughs> Didn't he bet on himself? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. So, I mean, bro. The way, bro, listen, I don't care if Ryan came in at 175. Let's not forget, people say he's a TikToker. He's a YouTuber. He can't fight. He can't mess with Devin. Devin has the pedigree. Devin going out boxing. None of that happened, man. What happened? Somebody got to tell me. Where's Phonix, man? <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I got to get five. I got to get Phonics around, man. Phonics, he gonna be. A, I, I gotta get him back, man. I gotta let him know that I'm looking for him. Yeah, man. Let's. I need somebody to spar with me. No, nah, but I tell you what. I tell you what. We we about to we about to start getting into this. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna send Phonics a link right now while while you at it. But basically, we we gonna start this boxing shit. But you 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 absolutely right. Uh, with some of the things that's going on in these flights. A hey, flight, you should, bro. You should start your boxing thing. Do your b ball thing like you're doing, but that boxing thing is getting real hot. Listen, Frank Martin about to fight uh Tank really David. Tank. That's gonna be a go. Uh uh that boy uh Canelo about to fight a uh, Mangia. Hey man, that's gonna be a goodie. Man, you get in where you fit in, brother. You do everything, you know what I'm saying? Don't limit your channel to one or two things. Bro, that kid Austin going to soon be fighting for a championship. Uh, Yo, listen, Barbosa and, and uh, Lomachenko going to be fighting. Bro, you're going to have a lot of content. A lot of content. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. So, man, look, Ryan has shook the world. Everything, when I turn on YouTube, all I see is people talking about Ryan, man. And let me tell you the crazy thing. It's only going to get worse and it's only going to get bigger, this kid. Stephen A. Smith haven't even, it's not even Monday morning. When Stephen A. Smith get on that first take tomorrow morning, he about to go in him and Shannon Shaw, bro. All right? Let me uh, tell you. Who, who Shannon had? He had, he had Devin? He had Ryan? No, well, well, Shannon, I seen Shannon talking night talk with, uh, with uh, Ocho and Shannon was. I saw that, but I, I didn't get a chance. What, what happened on that? Oh, well, I've seen pieces of it because when they start talking crazy and ignorant, I, I shut it down, bro. I don't care who it is. You know, I'm not going to sit there in a, in a, uh, in a, in a ear of stupidity. He was talking about uh, that was it was unprofessional. He came up three pounds, came over three pounds. They don't understand it. Listen, Mayweather came in overweight over Marquez, man. Nobody was crying and tripping about that. We got to relax sometime, bro. Like we we get in our feelings and emotional, man. Like. If you're not betting on the fight, if you're not buying the fight, man, relax, man. You know what I'm saying? People don't even know that Floyd came in overweight with Marquez. You didn't hear the, the injustice about that Floyd not professional. Man, Floyd is Floyd Mayweather, man. People want to see a fight. I'm at this point, flight. I want to see fights, man. I want to see competitive fight. I want to see these young boys fight. I want to see Kid Austin get a shot at somebody. All right? I always said... Kid Austin should be fighting Keyshawn Davis. That's the fight to make. Why are we not making that fight? It's time. Hey, man, it's time. Bro, what they going to wait till it 31, 32? Man, give me a break. Man, it's one thing about Ryan. He ducks no smoke. I know. He ducks. You, have, you have to respect Ryan for that. He ducks flight. When he lost against Tank, you know what people were saying? I heard it. My ears to the YouTube streets. You know what I'm saying? I got a channel. All I heard was, oh, man, man, he done. He finished. It ain't going to happen. Then when they said he was going to fight Duarte, oh, he definitely done. It's over. Duarte going to knock him out. 
they went look at Duarte's highlights. Even I did. And I said, man, Ryan going to catch this kid and it's going to be a wrap. And that's just what he did. My cousins, bro, big Devin Haney fans. Man, I mean, bro, we got in big old spat, big old fusses about that. I was like, man, all right, bro. Y'all like Devin. I like Ryan, bro. I love Tate, though. I said, man, I, w bro, Ryan could have let that defeat to Tank disturb his peace and get knocked out every other fight. But he looked at it as a learning lesson. It put fuel on his fire. Let's not forget, Flight. He had a mole in his camp, camp against Tank. He couldn't eat nothing. I do. I don't even think people understand what dehydration, what the hydration clause means. Once you go in there and weigh it a certain weight, the next day you have to weigh the same thing. That boy could only eat an oatmeal cookie, man. Couldn't even hardly drink water. Let's give me a break, man. All right. Uh, Goosen, <laughs> bro, come on, man. He did not train Ryan right for that fight, man. He brought, he, had to let his eyes go. he brought in that little Asian fighter, you know what I'm saying, and, and fractured Ryan ribs. Ryan had an injury. You know what I'm saying? He was going through stuff with his wife. Man, I don't think people understand what real life is. And when you got to go in that ring, you don't got to go through camp and then go in that ring to fight. Your mindset. You know, I, I was listening to uh, that boy, uh, Sergio. He was hating on Ryan, man. Like, you know, his mental and this and that. Sergio, bro, you come off a reality show. See, people tend to forget. Sergio was a reality show fighter. People, you don't remember that, huh, Flight? Uh, I, I, I never heard of him. It's, bro, he was a reality show fighter. Google it. He was on Sugar Ray Leonard, had a reality show with boxers. He fought that guy, Buja or whatever his name is, in the finals, I think. And that's what built his career from a reality show. So what are we talking about? Ryan's mind not right. And this is something. Man, I get it. Ryan's selling the fight, man. He went on stage and made y'all think he was drinking beer and it was some apple cider. Man, listen, check this out. This is what I really want to say. For people to think Ryan is unprofessional, he's on drugs, he's not mental stable. For people to say that, and this man has Derek James, a Hall of Fame trainer in his corner. Do y'all think Derek James would let this kid do all this crazy stuff, drink, smoke, do powder, all this stuff they said he was doing? And Derek James was going to put his Hall of Fame career on the line for that drama? Give me a break, man. Derrick James knew what time it was, man. Derrick James and everybody, the fan base, fell into it. And <laughs> that boy Ryan went in that ring and destroyed your favorite fighter. It's really nothing that nobody could say about it. it was, that, that's how devastating it was. Um, the knockout. Like, it, well, it wasn't a knockout, but it, it should have been a knockout. What do you think about when he dropped him early? Do you think that the ref looked like he looked like the ref was trying to hang him in there? The referee, man, to be straight up honest with you, was showing a little bit of bias, man. You know, I, I, you see, when you up close and personal in that fight like that, you hear all the cracks from the punches. You hear a lot of different stuff. And I don't think he wanted Devin to go out like that without stopping it and, you know what I'm saying, interfering. Because Devin's pedigree. He's the champion. You got to let him fight. But at some point, I think his dad should have thrown in that towel and say, son, this is just not your night. It's not your night, son. And listen, let's live to fight another day. Man, those, man, I don't know if it was the third knockdown. Man, Devin couldn't get up, man, hardly, bro. That, that was ugly. That was brutal, man. Come on, man. At some point, man, where the adults in the room, man? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro, I'm not no boxer. I'm no, no fighter, but I know what I'm looking at, man. And the referee, he hit the shots up close and personal. Like, they're right there. Flight, like, you ever been to a boxing match? Uh, no, I never. You said I've been to one? Yeah. No. Yeah, I done, been, I done been to like three. Let me tell you something, bro. You just hear people screaming. You don't hear punches like that. It's not like watching a wrestling and you in the ring got microphones under it and you hear boom every time you get bound to slam or jump off the rope or they punch and stomp their feet. It's not like that, bro. It's not like that, man. 
You just see hands flying and you see people falling when they fall, when they get a good punch. Now, imagine the referee is up close and personal in between these guys refereeing and he hearing all the all the shots, man. The clock, the clock, all these different licks, man. Man, that's a hard job for a referee, man. It's a hard job when to stop it, how long you want to let it continue. I think he was really he was he really was saving Devin, giving him a chance. Like, all right, it's early. You gonna get in your groove, you're gonna get in your bag. And he never got in his bag. Devin, Devin had some moments. Now, he, let's not make it seem like Devin didn't have his moments. But I think Devin, after that first night down, the embarrassment, the shameness. You got Tank watching at home. You got Floyd watching at home. You got the everybody on social media. Ryan's 12 million followers. Your followers, millions of followers. You got Kid Austin watching. You got, you got Pacquiao watching. Hey, man, that's, bro, that's a heavy mindset to carry. Your daddy been talking big cash money. He's in the corner. So Devin got desperate. He started, and he's throwing that overhand right because he thought he could catch Ryan because in one of his fights, he fought in, the, I think, one of the Jake Paul fights. And he threw that overhand on the kid and knocked him out. That's one of the one knockouts that he has. I think he was trying to land that on Ryan. But what he didn't realize, Derrick James tightened up that defense to catch those punches, man. It was just it was just an embarrassing performance, man. And I know Devin is way better than that. Devin is way better than that flight. Way better than that. And I think he just have to go back, reevaluate with his father. You know what I'm saying? Bill did a good job with that kid, man. And he's going to continue to do a good job with that kid. But they have to sit down one-on-one, -on -one, go out to dinner, and say, son, you good? Ask him again. Say, when you ready to start training? What you want to do? You want to bring Floyd Sr. back? You know what I'm saying? What I think, uh, if, if I was him, man, uh, because Devin has that Philly shoulder roll. He has that all in his arsenal. If I was him, I said, look, son, I'm sending you to Bozy Ennis. I'm sending you the boots. I'm sending you over there with, with, them, with that boy Greg and all of them. I'm sending you to that gym. Get you right. Tighten up your defense. Work on a little bit of power. That's what I would do if I was him. If he don't do that, man, then I would bring in Antonio Tava. Antonio Tava is itching to train somebody and get in the gym and give these kids some knowledge. I don't know why nobody ever brought Antonio Tarver into camp and let him put this genius mindset in these boys. These egos need to shut down with these young boys and they need to bring Antonio Tarver and some whoever camp, whoever decide to bring Antonio Tarver in their camp. Bro, they're going to have a jewel of a brain, a jewel of a mind, man. I promise you, man. That's what I think Bill need to do. Bring Antonio Tarver in the camp. Let him get Devin right. You know what I'm saying? Have a few sit downs with him, uh, some laughs and some hugs and some, you know what I'm saying? Let him know, bro, you still the champion. It was just a bad night. Listen, man, Floyd Mayweather never lost the fight. And I get it. But everybody's not going to be Floyd, bro. bro it's just not. Stop, yeah, we got to stop it, bro, at some point, man. In order to be great, in order to be a Hall of Famer, you have not. This is the talk now. Well, Ronnie, he ain't going to get in the Hall of Fame. He don't have no belts. <laughs> Guess what? He's doing something more than belts. He's bringing eyes to the sports. He's bringing the energy back to the sport. He's fighting the best. He's not turning down no fights, man. Like if they put boots on the table, I'm scared for him because I think Ryan is that naive and that confident that he's ready to go in there with boots. And to be honest with you, Boots is a man. Boots, man. Boots is nothing to play with, man. Serious, man. I remember Phonix when Boots was fighting on the same card with that kid Vila against Rashid Ellis, and I didn't believe it. Phonix, the one who made me a believer. Phonix was like, man, <laughs> Vila, Vila is a bad boy, and I was like, nah. Rashid got hands. Rashid is quick. Because if Rashid would have won that fight, he'd have been fighting Boots. But Vila destroyed Rashid Ellis, and Boots had to fight Vila, and Boots destroyed Vila, a tough, tough Colombian, bro, a very tough Colombian, and Boots destroyed him, man. So I don't think that's what run, huh? I said it was child's play, man. 
oh man, Boots was matrixing on this dude, dancing in slow motion, punches and nah, I don't think Ryan want that smoke, man. That's nah. I heard somebody uh talking about a good fight, uh uh Boots uh physical trainer, uh conditioning trainer. He said a good fight for Ryan would be uh oh boy, that's about to fight Adrian Brona, Blake. I think his name is Blake, the um, Ric Flair woo dude kid. I, I don't want to see that. I, I mean, it would be a good fight. The presser would be great, but I want to see. If I'm going to pay for a fight, I want to see Tia Fama Lopez and Ryan Garcia. That's the fight to make. That's the fight the world should see, man. That's the fight to make, man. I agree. I agree. There's so many good fights to be made, you know. Um, but what we think, we think about the situation with with Tank and Devin. You know, obviously now with the loss of Devin, him taking the loss, does that diminish any future fights in the future? In your opinion? To be honest with you, I think if Tank, which I know, you know, what I'm saying, I don't want to say, I don't want to put no energy out there because may the best man win, but. If he get past Frank Martin, I think Devin need to say, yo, let's go. Let's run it. That's what the fans want. I'm ready. If he go in there and be Tank, get your rematch back with Ryan. But he going to have to do something, bro. Tank, Tank, honestly, man, Tank is just too skillful, too powerful for these guys, man. I tell people all the time, man, you know, um, people like Floyd Mayweather and Tank, they're prize fighters. What what do I call a prize fighter? A prize fighter is somebody who makes big bags. That's way more important than those belts to them. Get the bag, get the money. And when you're a prize fighter, man, it's hard for you to let somebody come in at ring and beat you, bro, because they know as a prize fighter that if you beat me, you're gonna have the bag. The bag I was making, you're gonna start making that. And you, it's hard to be the prize fighter, bro. It's just real hard to be the prize fighter. Somebody with a belt, with pride, they're beatable. But a prize fighter for the bag, when you're making 20, 30, 40, 60 million dollars, it's going to be hard to beat somebody like that, man. Very hard to beat them, man. Very hard. I will be a good fight, though, Devin and Tank, if, um, if, if Devin get himself together. Yeah, he gonna have to get a he gonna, he gonna need a redemption win, you know. Like this, yeah. this is a big win for Ryan. I, I think know. once once he get right, yeah. once he get right, I think he need to. They need to uh, match make him and Roly. I think he need to fight Roly. That's who, his next who? fight, Devin Haney. I mean Roly, I ain't gonna lie, man, that's an easy fight. Well, guess what. They they always say in the tuna. I mean, so I ain't gonna lie. They they thought that the fight right here was gonna be easy. So so Devin, I ain't gonna lie. If Devin lose the role, that'll just be like, oh man. Man, that'll be big. That'll but <laughs> <guess what? laughs> but flight. Check this out though. They always say after a loss like that, he need a tune up. He need a tune up. It's one thing I about, love about Ryan. He didn't want no tune up. He's like, give me your dog, and let me drop your dog. They brought Duarte in there. Oscar and brought Duarte. If you go see Duarte's highlights, man, this boy, Duarte beat a lot of these fighters, man. Duarte would give Devin big problems, to be honest with you. Big problems because Devin don't have enough power to keep these big punches off him, bro. He don't have enough power to keep these guys off him, man. He got skills, but you got to use those skills, Dev. You got to use that ring generalship that everybody said you had. I didn't see no ring generalship, man. I don't know if it was the boots he had on those boots. I, I don't know what kind of. Sh I, I'm serious, man. I'm confused by these shoes this kid had on, man. I, I don't know what that was. I've never seen that in a ring before, man. Never, man. So I, I don't know, man. He got a. He got a lot to. He got a lot to evaluate, bro. At this point, I don't know if he was wearing Jordans or what. I don't know what shoes those were. Man, it looked like some Uggs, man. Some, some. He like he had cargo shorts. Man, those those he, shoes. He completely underestimated her. Man, he went. You know, 
when you got a bunch of people in your ear, man, and listen, he, bro, he has to, because listen, he put on a clinic with Regis. I thought Regis was going to do a little something, but Regis didn't do nothing, man. Yeah, I think he, you know just, what I'm saying? he brought a different level of intensity for him. Yeah, man. You know, it was in his hometown, and, and look, man, Devin has what it takes to continue being a champion. Just a few adjustments, the right mindset, and he going to be all good. Come back, fight a rolly next. But can you imagine, man, the confidence people going to have going against Devin from here on out, man? Bro, he is like, he going to be looked at like he's just easy. Bro. <laughs> but, you know, if you go if you go back and look at some videos on YouTube, when Floyd was in the ring with him, Floyd was talking to him in the ring. Floyd seemed like he even got emotional telling Devin this, man. He was like, your man's strength going to come. Said just not now, but your man's strength is gonna come, and it hasn't come yet. But <laughs> Floyd, Floyd, I mean, if anybody sees something, I'm gonna believe. I'm gonna believe Floyd. Devin's man's strength just not there. Maybe his strength is in 147, 154. Maybe it's there. I don't know. I'm gonna give Devin some credit, man. That I don't hear a lot of people giving Devin credit for, man. Devin went to Australia, bro, and went get those belts and brought them back home and went back and defended them again. I'm going to always salute that brother for that, man, because, bro, you know how hard that is to be in other people's gym in a foreign country, eat the food, trust in the food, the media you have to do, everybody against you. It's a lot, man. It's a lot, bro. And he went and handled his business. So he going to always have my credit for that, man. Always, always. That's the Devin I wanted to see last night. And that Devin just didn't show up, man. Devin looked like he was overtrained. You know, like his, like they trained him too heavy, too hard for this fight, man. They got a, they got a lot of, they got a lot of evaluating to do with Devin, man, after this fight, man. Honestly, man. Because it, bro, it's supposed to be a decision. A decision fight, man. All the way 12 ran a decision fight. And to get dropped that many times, <sighs> my goodness. Man, every time he dropped him, I cringed, man. I was like, ah, man. I, Ryan hit him with something, man. And this boy was on his shoulder, like, trying to get up. And, you know, and listen, another thing, like, they talk about, uh, I seen uh, Fernando Vargas with his sons. Because uh, one of his son, uh, Armando, about to fight uh, Sean Garcia, Ryan's little brother, for the uh, for the Nate Diaz Madrinov, uh boxing card. And they were saying, don't quit like your brother. Man, this is boxing, man. Ryan got stopped by Tank. He didn't have no shame in that. Tank is the face, the best. All right. But we got to remember that same shot Ryan got caught with, Ryan had dropped. Uh, that that guy from uh, UK, uh, the guy to forget his name, he dropped Ryan in the fight, and Ryan got up when he was when he was training with Renosos with Canelo and him. He got up and dropped that boy with the same body shot. So people saying, "Man, you didn't get up." Man, Ryan had a lot going on with him with that tank fight. Man, the man couldn't eat. He had a fractured rib. He he was. Man, come on, man. Look, bro. It is what it is. I know everybody going to spin the narrative and they're going to come with this and they're going to come with that. The bottom line is Ryan beat this kid last night. And listen, man, he's going to make his way around the media. And I'm going to tell you something, man. You think he big? He's going to get big. I heard a video, Charleston White. You know, Charleston White was hanging out with Ryan in Dallas. And Charleston White was like, yo, I took that boy to my mama house and my mama's pastor prayed over him and he came out victorious. You know, when Charleston White get to running this my Mr. Algorithms on that Internet, your stock going to go way up, way up than what it already is. <laughs> so, bro, I, I don't know what to tell him, man. I don't know what to tell him, bro. It is what it is, man. Do, do, you think now, do you think now people gonna get out of this YouTube shit with Ryan? No, I respect him like a fighter. Oh, you said no. 
No, they because they disrespected him since this morning. Everybody still, he's a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? He's a and let me tell you something, man. What what channels don't realize at some point, man, you're gonna start you're gonna start losing your fan base. The little fan base that you have, you're gonna start losing it by you talking crazy and reckless. Because at the end of the day, man, it's real, it's real, real people on here wanna hear some real shit. Cause the eyes don't lie. And if you keep calling in this YouTuber, this TikToker, and here he be a, a champion like Devin Haney, and you still on that? Oh, man, that's something personal within your heart and your spirit, bro. That's something you dealing with. That's somebody that beat you up in high school or you never sat at the cool table or something, bro, in high school. And you tripping. You know what I'm saying? They, they trying to find everything in the book. They still on he was drinking and smoking. They still on the three pound weight. This the man. Okay, the man came up three pounds. He paid for it. How many? How many of them that's in the comments or got channels say they got one point one one point two to give somebody for something if they get sued? Ryan gave him that. He's like, all right, I came in three pounds over. Y'all want how much? All right, here you go. Take that. Let's get the fight going. If if Devin wanted, Devin could have said, Nah, man, you ain't coming and wait. You either lose that weight or it ain't gonna be no fight. He they could have said that. Let's not forget that. That one could have said, man, I'm not fighting. He didn't come and wait. He's not professional. He's been trolling for weeks now. I knew he wasn't gonna be professional. That one could have that could have been his argument, and nobody would have been mad. But guess what? Him and his daddy was like, man, we got this. I don't care what how much he come in. That boy ain't skilled like you. Okay. <laughs> Ryan got some fast hands, man. You know, it's one thing to have fast hands, man. But when you hitting with, with when you got power behind them fast hands, it's hard to beat, man. Very hard to beat, man. Very hard to beat, man. You know what I'm saying? And look, hey, man, I'm gonna tell you a fight that I I would love to see uh your your boy Kid Austin go and maybe move up a little bit because uh, I forgot where Barbosa at. But I think they need to put Barbosa and Kid Austin should be the next fight for Kid Austin. What you think, Flight? Oh, so, say that last point. Barbosa. Barbosa, who should have lost that fight last night? The Mexican kid? Oh, you talking about the. Oh, uh, I didn't watch the undercard. I was just watching. I just was focused on the main event. Yeah, uh, Barbosa. The, check this out. Barbosa is the one that they were saying if Ryan can't make it, he would step in. At the press conference in Cali, remember that? Yeah, yeah, Barbosa. That's that's. I mean, they high on this kid, thinking he he the next one. But now, nah, kid Austin need to handle that and get rid of that real quick, fast, in a hurry, man. Yeah, I'm much sure right there. Yeah, there's a lot of kid Austin because they ain't gonna keep running, ducking, and dodging for too long. Check this out, Flake. If I if I was a boxer who in my heart and soul, I know I can beat Ryan and I want that payday. I want that fight. Right now is the perfect time. If they not social media media for, uh, savvy, right now is the perfect time for them to say, start calling people out. Start calling Ryan out. Start critiquing it, the, the fight. Bro, now it's time. You got to build your fan base, man. You're not going to get these kind of fights if your fan base is not heavy. I don't care how much skills you have. I don't care if you can be Ryan or Tank. If you, bro, if your fan base is not there, it's not going to happen. It's no way they can make it happen. Because Ryan right now is going to forever be a pay-per-view star. So if you're not bringing a pay-per-view fan base with you, why is he fighting you? Oh, because a bunch of fools online say, oh, Ryan can't beat him? Oh, come on, man. That's why I said he need to fight Tia Fimo. Tia Fimo is a champion just like Devin was. He's on top rank. Bob and I'm going to promote that fight. Golden Boy going for, and it should be an easy fight to make with Tank, with uh, T.O. and uh, Ryan because Bob and Oscar, they get along. They don't seem like they got no problem making no business. It's just about T.O. not our biz bidding itself and say, nah, man, I, I want 20, 25 million to fight Ryan. Cut it out. I think that's crazy. It ain't is it's not gonna happen, bro. It's not 12, 15, I can see. But 20, 25, nah, bro. You're not the A side in this fight, man. Ryan is the A side, man. I don't care how many belts you have. 
Go see, go to see the interview with Floyd. Floyd said, "Man, them belts not that important, man." Didn't Errol Spence was was mad about paying fees on those belts? Wasn't he complaining about that for the for the uh, for the uh, Crawford fight? Talking about the fees he got to got to spend on these belts and all this and all that. Man, when you man, when you bro, when you come with a heavy fan base like that, man, you really not tripping on no belts because you, and when you knocking people out and you got a fan base. And you got haters. Perfect recipe to be a, to become a star, man. <laughs> Serious. They call Ryan fans the casuals and they don't know boxing. It don't matter if they don't know boxing. They know Ryan. And that's good enough for them. <laughs> Come on, man. We got to cut it out, man. We got to understand. We got to understand the reality of social media, man. If we don't get the reality of that. People not gonna ever win, man. You gotta understand your demographics. You know what I'm saying? I would advise channels when people come in, you know, say your name and where you're from. Where you you know what I'm saying? Share the channel. You know what I'm saying? Share the content. You know what I'm saying? You, bro, you, too too many people flight, they too shame, they too shy. My daddy always told me, man, a, a pole mouth don't get fed, man. A closed mouth don't get fed. Man, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? Man, they got they got artists, man, out there, man, who don't have record deals, who got platinum records, man. Cause they ain't they ain't scared to <laughs> share. Share my song, share my content, share my channel. Come on, man. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is, man. Wait, yo, where you, where your boxing analysts at? Where these boys at, man? We were talking about the talk box. I mean, like I said, usually um I, I'm, we're gonna have to start going live, like on, on boxing. But for the most part, uh, we do it usually at night. I was gonna do some talking. Um, I was looking at some boxing stories. Mm -hmm. Kind of was bringing up, uh, making me want to just jump start a boxing live because it, it was a hell of a conversation. Like I said, this Ryan fight, there's so much to talk about because so much happened. You know, it was such a big upset, man. It was like everybody wants to speak about it, but a lot of people, like you said. Don't really know about boxing on the channel like that, but but it is and, but you know what the cool part about it is, whether they know boxing or not, they eye test gonna tell them what they see, and it's always a good conversation whether somebody wrong or right. It's just good to have that conversation and that sparring. Let's talk about it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody, not everybody gonna be right, and not everybody gonna be wrong. But it's a good conversation. It helps your channel. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm bro. I didn't see you. Didn't had some. You didn't had some boxing folks on your channel. I didn't check it out. Didn't you have a uh, Floyd uh, Floyd Senior on your channel? Yeah, we had. Um, what you got, man? Floyd, 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 Floyd Senior. We had Jeff Mayweather. Yeah. What you say? Say it again, Flight. Jeff Mayweather. Yeah, Jeff Mayweather. Yeah, you sure did. We had um, Coach Calvin. Mm -hmm. Coach yeah, Calvin. Yeah, man. Flight School. Yeah, see, when you had those people, you should have started building from there, just from right there. You know what I'm saying? Got to build from there because, man, just not going. People just not going to get Jeff and Coach Calvin on their channel, man. And then you, you, you don't got like an upcoming star, man, Kid Austin. Man, people can I mean, say what I mean, they want. We built, like I said, we building on that. We've been building. Yeah, that's good, man. That's a great thing, man. But it's like, should just like I said, do a little more on the live stream. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, but like I said, yeah. there's a lot of big fights, you know. Uh, you know, I know Kid Austin Shakur. That'll be a good fight. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of good fights that people want to see. Man, if you when you get a chance, man, try to get uh Carmel Moten, get that young kid on your channel, man. Interview him, man. Oh, Carmel, yeah, Carmel is the truth. Yeah, you know, catch him now. Why, you know, what I'm saying he out, he upcoming, man. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Got got to catch him now, bro. Serious, you know what I'm saying? And and also, man, bro. Like like Ryan, man, DM that kid. Let him know. Give him a link to the channel. See if you can interview him, man. You'd be surprised, man. He'd be like, yeah, let's do it. You'd be very surprised, man. You know what I'm saying? Shakur, all of them. Get them boys on the channel, man. You your channel hot, man. You should you should, bro. When you when you when you get. Lamelo and Lonzo Ball's dad on the channel. Shit, come on, man. Come on, bro.
Come on, man. Points. Serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's you know sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? We we do things and we don't know what we really have, which I know you do because I I bro, I sit back and listen. Sharp, sharp, sharp mentally. Sharp, brother. You know what I'm saying? And I love that you give everybody an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? To come on your channel and do their spills and all that, man. So that's a great thing within itself. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, you I th I think you hotter than what you probably know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Serious. I, 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 I know. I mean, like I said, there's always yeah. there's always like a balance of of putting out. Like I said, there's so much to do. You know, um, facts. There's so much content to talk about. You know, just because mm -hmm. you know, you'll just be recording all day long. So you know, just trying to uh, find the right ones that's popping. But you're right. There's a lot of stuff that I need to. I want to talk about with box and that's up. That's definitely goes to the level level. You know, I yeah, man. Not a lot. I put out a lot. Of, I talked about a lot of fights upcoming. Um, I brought up some of the fights this week about this one. Uh, I'm going to the tank fight next. You know, we got a lot of things going on. Yeah, they got a lot of big fights coming up, man. You know what I'm saying? But man, let me go, man. Our girl in here cooking. I gotta help her. Right, but good. look, man. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get up out of here. Uh, we'll pull back up. Uh, we look at says a lot of. Go ahead. Go ahead. I appreciate you. Yeah, man, I'll be there, man. I, bro, when you come up live, man, with some boxing, I'll be here, bro. Uh, most definitely. All right, for sure, Flake. Uh -huh. A lot of NBA playoff basketball, too, for anybody that's um, into the into the NBA. Um, but like like he was just saying, there's a lot of crazy things going on. Nobody anticipated this, this major upset to take place, but it's happening. You know, point blank period. Um, Devin Haney, he gonna have to go back to the drawing board. I don't think nobody anticipated it to be like that. Everybody anticipated him to win. Now, not only did he lose, but he got manhandled. And um, like I said, I just wasn't a good look. So um, let's see what happens from here. Because all that's going to be key. Um, can Devin um, get his career back, um, or is it, or is it time to just pack it all out? That's gonna be, that's the million dollar question. Let me know in the comment section as well who should be Devin Haney's next opponent. You know, um, that's that's gonna be um, serious because he's got to get a win. In, in my humble opinion, uh, any anything else would be uncivilized. You know, um. Let me know what y'all thought about that fight too, and even the undercard. Like you said, I didn't, I didn't pay too much attention to the undercard, but it is what it is. Salute so to all y'all in the chat right now. Uh, we are live uh, discussing um, that, you know, the ball and the red different sports topics. We are just discussing the fight. I know that everybody wanted to uh, speak on uh, the, the antics on that. But the end of the day, it is what it is. More fights is, is on store. Let me know the other fights that you're looking forward to seeing as well. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. Uh, we said we're bringing the rare, um, like I said, all over. Right now, you got an unbelievable game coming on between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Indiana Pacers. I know everybody's going to be interested in seeing. We're going to provide some coverage with that. So you already know.
Thank you.
Thank you.
Thank you.
Thank you.
Thank you.
What's going on, people? Shout out to everybody that's still rocking with Flight Sports. We got a, a whole bunch of basketball on today. Uh, we got playoff Shea Gilders. You already know what it is. Uh, we should see what's in store for this game coming up. Uh, shout out to everybody that's rocking with Flight Sports TV. We still live. Um, about to turn to this game. A lot of people are saying that Tyrese Halliburton, you know, just got exposed. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Um, I think uh, we got a lot of time to, to tell for all that. Uh, but like I said, let's, let's give these guys um, credit, you know. Um, nonetheless, man, it is what it is. But you do have Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, the last game of the evening, uh, a lot of people uh, were looking forward to playoff Shea Gilders, you know, um, his first time in the playoffs. Shea Gilgis is first time in the postseason. It should be something special. Uh, everybody's excited to see that. Uh, a lot of people feel like Oklahoma City, this this could have been some kind of fluke, you know. Uh, but I do think they, they would act good this season. So I got to give them credit and props. Uh, shout out to those guys. We got B.I. and Brandon Ingram. I'm about to get on the floor. So you better look out for B.I. Shout out to the Pelicans, man. It's good to see the Pelicans in this, too. Shout out to the Pelicans. Shout out to the Pelicans. Salute to the, to the Shea Gilders, Alexander fans around the world. Uh, let's see who wins this matchup. You got Zion Williamson is out. It's, it's crazy. How the hell Zion Williamson he, he out in the most crucial time? <coughs> Shit don't make sense, y'all. Shout out to OKC. The playoffs about to start. This is the last playoff series. The, play, the last series um, of the evening, you know, of the whole playoffs. You know, this is the encore. Um, I mean, this is the finale, actually. Pardon me. Um, tipping off the OKC. Well, let's see, man. Like I said, you know, a lot of these guys ain't never been to the playoffs. You know, we know how good Shea is. I think Shea going to be the MVP of the league. Uh, but don't sleep on the rest of these guys. You got playoff Shea in effect. Um, here comes the uh, the New Orleans Pelicans. I got C.J. McCollum with the rock right now as we speak. He kicks it out to Valanchunas. Uh, we got uh, my man Murphy out there. Murphy with the, got the rock. Murphy surveying the landscape, looking for B.I. They give it to B.I. You got Dort all over Brandon Ingram. I'm telling you, look, you better look out for Brandon Ingram this series. B.I. in the mid-range. He missed it. They're going to be all over Ingram. Here comes Shea Gilders. Shea, he finds Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy all the way to the cut. Oh, stolen. Herb Jones. Herb Jones. Herb. Oh, Herb got his shit blocked by check. Herb got blocked. Here comes Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy with the rock picked up by Murphy. Josh Giddy. He finds Shea Gilders. Playoff Shea. They give it to Shea. Shea posting up. The double is coming. The Chet Holgram for three. Cash. Chet Holgram, big time three ball. You got Oklahoma City. They on the board early. We got 11 minutes remaining. Uh, the game is getting popping. Let's go. Uh, playoff Shea is in effect. Here comes Murphy. Murphy, this is fine. Valentunas in the paint. Valentunas, the double team is coming. Shea and Chet doubling Valentunas. Valentunas backing up on Chet. And Valentunas scores it. Big time bucket by. Jonas Valanciunas. Here comes Giddy. Giddy bringing the ball up the floor. Met by Murphy. Murphy all over Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy, he finds, um, they kick it to Williams. Williams gives it to Chet. Oh, almost an alley. -oop. Not on, not on Herb. Here comes Herb Jones. They give it to B.I. Brandon Ingram in the mid-range. They give it out to Herb. Herb has the ball. Back to Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram gives it to Valanciunas. Posted up on Chet Holgram. Valanciunas posting up on Chet. And we got a we got a break in the action. 
we're just getting started. Ladies and gentlemen, we was um, down uh, for that blowout. Uh, but this game right here, I'm very excited and looking forward to this one. It's 2-3 to three right now, 10-15 to go in the first quarter. Chet Holgren with the wrap. They kick it out to Williams. Williams has it picked up by Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram has the ball. Here comes Williams all the way to the cup, and it's good. Good play right there. Here comes C.J. McCollum. C.J. has it. C.J. with the rock. Here comes the screen coming. C.J. all the way to the cup, and that's good. Good play by C.J. McCollum. The score is 4-5 to five right now, 9.50 to go in the first quarter. Williams has it. C.J. picking up on Williams. They give it to Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy surveying the landscape. They give it to Chet. Chet has the ball. They kick it out to Shea. Playoff Shea in the mid-range, and it's good off the glass. It's 7-4, OKC. Here comes CJ. CJ has it. They kick it out to Valanciunas. Back to B.I. Brandon Ingram screen with Valanciunas. Brandon Ingram kicks it out to Herb Jones, and he scores it. Good play by Herb. Great play by Herb Jones. That's excellent. Um, New Orleans know what they got to do. Here come Williams. Oh, step back on Brandon Ingram. At Williams, he couldn't convert it. Here comes Murphy. Murphy has the ball. He's bringing the ball all the way up the court. Let's see what's going to happen here on this play. This play is going to be crucial right here. Here comes Shea. Shea bringing the ball up. Oh, Shea putting the moves on. Shea, he kicks it out. Oh, Chet for three. Another three. Oh, in and out for Chet. Chet trying to go for the juggler. Better look out for Chet Holgram. Here comes Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram shaking and baking. Brandon Ingram. Oh, and Brandon Ingram drops him in the mid-range, and he, he made that shot. The ref should have counted that. That didn't make no sense. Come on, ref. Brandon Ingram. He, he cooked. I'm telling you now, Shea Gilders and them, they better look out for Ingram. He's going to cause major problems for them. He's going he gonna to ruin all of the plans. He's he going to mess up all of the party that they're trying to do. You know, I'm telling you. They ain't seen nothing like B.I. I'm telling you. They better not let him get going. There's, they got this dude, Dort, is playing ferocious defense on B.I. right now. Come on, come on, B.I. B.I. going to figure this out. B.I. is unstoppable. Come on now. They, 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 all this stuff, that B.I. is a little unhealthy, too. That's the that's the messed up part. But here come Giddy. They give it to Chet. But look out for Chet. Chet posting up all the way to the cup. Chet Holgram, he couldn't convert it. Rebounded by Jonas Valanciunas. Here comes Brandon Ingram. Brand, C.J. McCollum, top of the key, three ball. And he couldn't convert it. Here comes the Oklahoma City Thunder. Josh Giddy crossing half court. Brandon Ingram all on Giddy. Josh Giddy has it. Josh Giddy looking around. Josh Giddy all the way to the cup on Ingram, and he could not convert. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Here comes CJ McCollum bringing the ball. Oh, CJ putting the moves on all the way to the cup, and he couldn't convert it over Chet. That's a lot of sides that he ran into. Pause. Here comes Shea Gill. Just playoff Shea is in effect. Playoff Shea. Um, he's bringing the ball. Oh, Chet is on the floor. Here comes Shea, picked up by Herb Jones. Not on Herb. They, they, they give it out. They're moving the ball around. Williams, corner ball three, couldn't convert it. Here comes Murphy with the rebound. They give it out to C.J. McCollum. C.J. has the ball. He pick, He's crossed half court, met by Josh Giddy. They give it to Herb Jones. Herb Jones all the way to the cup, and he couldn't convert it. But Valachunas puts it back. It's 9-7 right now, 7-10 to go in the first quarter. Here comes Williams crossing half court, met by B.I. They throw the ball up to Chet. He couldn't make the three. The Chet out here chucking threes, y'all. Here comes C.J. McCollum. C.J. McCollum crossing half court. They kick it out. Um, they're moving the ball. Here goes Valanchunas. Back to Murphy. Murphy all the way to the cup. Murphy. They kick it out to Brandon Ingram. B.I. has it. Williams picking up on him. They give it back. Williams all over Ingram. I'm telling you, they're going to have problems with Ingram. They trying they damnness not to let Ingram get started. They should they already know once Ingram gets started. I'm telling you now, if they have Zion Williams, and I'll be I'll be officially ready to declare the Oklahoma City Thunder to lose in the first round. I just think it wouldn't ever be a question.
Yeah, my bad. We 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 have a commercial break right now. We got playoff Shea in effect. No Zion Williamson. Um it's definitely detrimental. I thought a Zion was gonna be available for him, but it is what it is. Hopefully we get some word on him. It's so messed up because he has such a good season. And for him to not be here in this crucial time, this is all you're gonna remember. You're not gonna remember him having a pretty relatively healthy year, pretty much all the way throughout. All you're gonna see and remember is this shit right here. Uh, but we got to get into Shea Gildress Alexander. Shea Gildress is more than likely gonna win the MVP award of the league. Uh, so he is the MVP in my humble opinion. Um, if you've been living under a rock, man, that he done led the Oklahoma City Thunder to the number one seed. He's averaging 30 this season. Um, he had, he played 34 minutes per game. Um, he shot 53% from the field, uh, five rebounds, six assists. Uh, shout out Tay, um, everybody that's in the chat. Um, we, we got we got the finale right here, man. We got playoff Shea Gildress. It don't get no better than this. Um, I, I'm very excited for this series. I think it's gonna be entertaining if everybody can stay healthy. You know that's gonna be key. You know the guys can't stay healthy. We just wasting our time, ain't that right? Um, but salute to all y'all that's in the chat right now. Uh, we got we got a massive, massive game going on. Playoff Shea, this is how you get your bones, you understand? You, you can do something nice on a, on a Tuesday night on NBA TV. You know, that's easy, you know. Um, but, you know, this is really where, you know, stars, legends are born in the postseason. This is where you are immortalized, you know. This is where you've spoken about for years and years and years to come. You know, um, th th this is how it is, you know, point blank period, you know. Um, so shout out to everybody that's rocking with Flight Sports TV. You already know what's going on. Uh, make sure you subscribe. We're going to have playoff basketball with you all season long. You already know we, we got a lot of things popping. Uh, shout out to everybody that's um, rocking with Flight Sports TV. We got Shea Gildress Alexander live. I wish we could have said we got Shea versus Zion. That's really what I wish we could have said. But unfortunately, we're going to have to hold that note. You know, um, but who would have thought OKC would have been where they at? OK, listen, you got to give credit to Sam Presti, you know, because all of these first round, they, they are way ahead of schedule. You know, they got some, some good problems to have. You understand? They got so much flexibility, it doesn't make any sense. You know, it don't, they, like, they have options, y'all, options, you know, and they have so many options. I thought it was going to trade Shea, but somewhere down the line, that, that was out of the question. You know, Shea is going to be the face of the franchise, you know, because they could have like they could have traded him and got more first rounders. But I mean, goddamn, how many first rounders you need? Um, but we back with it. Here comes Murphy. CJ has the rock. Um, we got Williams picking up CJ. CJ all the way to the cup in the mid range. Cash money mid range from CJ. We got a score right now. Was 11 7 right now. 6 20 to go in the first quarter. It's going down. Williams has it picked up by BI play. Oh, Shea just hit Herb Jones with a move. Uh, and Chet Holcomb just threw the ball out of bounds. You know, sorry play right there from Chet. It's 619 to go in the first quarter. Here comes CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum crossing half court and picked up. Here comes Williams on oh CJ all the way to the cup and he kicks it out to Herb Jones for three and he couldn't convert it. Rebounded by Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy with the ball. 11 7 right now. McCollum on Josh Giddy. Chet with it. Chet gives it back to Josh Giddy. Screen coming. Josh Giddy looking, surveying the landscape. They kick it out to playoff. Shea, nah, is that, they, they kick it out to my man Williams. What is Williams going to do with it? Williams don't know what to do with it, y'all. Shit don't make no sense. Um, we got an unbelievable game going on right now. It's 11-9. 11-9. Put down in the chat right now who y'all got winning this game. You know, um, let put it down right now. It's Flight Sports TV, playoff shades in full effect. It's 11 9, 5, 20 to go. Um, and New Orleans just missed it. Here comes Chet, point centers in effect. Chet Holgram. Chet Holgram picked up by Jonas Valanciunas. Chet Holgram posting up. And oh, he, he missed it. Um, here comes CJ. CJ McCullum picked up by Josh Giddy. CJ McCullum, he nearly loses the ball. And he does. Damn, and CJ just lost the ball. He threw the goddamn ball out of bounds. Rap guy said Pelicans by five. Pelicans in five, or you got them winning tonight by five? 
you know, uh, here comes Grand Theft Alvarado. We all know Grand Theft Alvarado was in the game. Ain't nothing like seeing the Grand Theft Alvarado sighting. You know, he's here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Look out for Grand Theft Alvarado. It's a crazy game. Play on Shea with it. Let me know what you have any points you got him finishing off with tonight. Herb Jones gonna be all over him. All Chet Holgram, three ball. Check, he launching these threes. Here come Larry Nance. Larry Nance has it. They give it to B.I. B.I. has the ball. Brandon Ingram shaking and baking. Picked up by playoff Shea. B.I. with it. B.I. kicks it out to her to Murphy. Murphy missed the three ball. Rebounded. Here comes the Oklahoma City Thunder. Williams, he kicks it out to Dort. Dort picked up by Jones. They kick it out. Uh-oh. Oklahoma City nearly loses the ball, and they do. Uh, they pick up the turnover. Good play right there by Oklahoma City. It's a two-point game. I, I mean by New Orleans. Murphy, step back three. Oh, man, that was nasty. That was an air ball. Here comes Oklahoma City. Chet um, gives it to Shea. Shea putting the moves on. Oh, Shea going all the way to the cup, and he converts it. We got a tie game, 11-11. That more than likely the MVP of the league has just scored. Look out for Chet. And what's the chances of him winning? Is he the league leader and the MVP in your opinion? Here comes Grand Theft Alvarado. They kick it out to Herb Jones. Herb Jones fouls B.I. B.I. He's fouled by uh, Shea. That's good. You know, you want to get Shea in foul trouble if possible. You know, it's a long game. You know, and I noticed what I've seen from Shea towards the tail end. He played his own pace. He real relaxed. He ain't rushing nothing, you know. Uh, so just that's just how it is. But nonetheless, it's a tie ball game right now. It's eleven all, three forty five to go. Here comes um, Brandon Ingram. Bi has the ball. Brandon Ingram shaking and baking. Brandon Ingram all the way to the cup. They kick it out to Grand Theft Alvarado, and he couldn't convert it. And uh oh, we got a, we got a bad play right there. It's eleven on eleven. 3.33 to go in the first quarter. Unbelievable basketball game going on right now. Herb Jones at the line for two. Herb at the line for two, not on Herb. I'm t I, got New I'm I got New Orleans in this series. You know, um, even without Zion, I think that Brandon Ingram is just going to be too much for him. I think that these two teams match up. You know, it's not like it's an overwhelming eighth seed. It's like Denver. You know, Denver, I think, could just be completely overwhelming. Oklahoma City has got to figure some things out, you know. And listen, New Orleans got to use their experience. You got to see just how many playoffs games you've been in. You know, these are the things that you got to use to your advantage going up against a team like this. Uh, but here comes uh, OKC. They have it. Are uh, they down two? A turnover. No, we do. We got a foul on, on, on the floor by Murphy. Murphy a little too overzealous. Shea is still on the floor. Playoff Shea is out there in full effect, y'all. You know, put your picks down right now who you got winning this game. There's a lot more basketball to be played. Playoff Shea with it. Playoff Shea with the ride. You know, remember Playoff P. It's Playoff Shea. I think it's going to be a little different with Playoff Shea. It's going to be like Playoff P. Yeah, but it's 13 11. 309 to go in the first quarter. Shea Gill just had the line. You know, they chatting MVP out there for Shea. It's 13 11 right now. We live from OKC. It's the first round matchup. Oh, he missed the first round. I mean, he probably missed the first free throw. Um, but like I said, I got New Orleans winning this series. You know, I think it might go seven. Hopefully, I don't know what's going on with Zion, but hopefully he can come back um, at some point. Shea just hit the second free throw. They still down one. There's three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Here comes Grand Theft Alvarado. They kick it out to Murphy. Murphy, they kick it to Larry Nance. Larry Nance has it. They give it to B.I. Brandon Ingram with the rock. Brandon Ingram surveying the landscape. Brandon Ingram shaking and baking. Oh, B.I. Oh, B.I. putting the moves on. Brandon Ingram in the mid-range. You know, I ain't going to lie. They are all over Brandon Ingram right now. Or he going to have to regroup and slow down and look at the film on how to attack them. Because they are all, they, they, they in his airspace. 
I'm starting to think, oh, they are even allowing Brandon Ingram to land. You know when he's shooting, they, that's how that's how much pressure they're putting on Brandon Ingram. They are making sure he don't get going. You know Jones, they give it to Nance. They got Nance out here by the three point range. I think they're gonna take this. They're looking for Bi. They give it to Brandon Ingram, isolated in the in the post. Brandon Ingram looking for that turnaround. The double is coming, and Brandon Ingram scores it in the mid range. There you go. I'm telling you, he's gonna get this. He's gonna figure this shit out. He's going to figure this shit out. We got a tie ball game. It's 15 up. Here comes Shea. Oh, Shea. He couldn't convert it. Picked up by Nance. Here comes Grand Theft Alvarado. Grand Theft Alvarado with the rock. He's shaking and baking. Here comes the sh- Oh, oh my goodness. Grand Theft Alvarado done dropped somebody. God damn it, he done dropped somebody. It's 17-15. Here comes, what, what is New Orleans going to do? Playoff Shea. Shea Gilders shaking and baking up on Herb Jones. Screen coming. Oh, Shea Gilders. Shea all the way to the cup, and he couldn't convert it. Here comes Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram pushing up with pace. Don't let him get started. Oh, Grand Theft Alvarado to Herb Jones. Step back three ball. Herb, he couldn't convert it. Rebounded by the Oklahoma's. Oh, Haywood is out there. I forgot about Haywood. Haywood, oh, they, they moving it. Three ball for New Orleans, Oklahoma. They couldn't convert it. Rebounded by Herb Jones. Here comes Herb Jones. Oh, they give it to Murphy. Murphy has it. And New Orleans nearly turns it over, and they do turn it over. Here comes the Oklahoma City Thunder, Shea Gilders, the MVP, coming all the way up the court, and he scores it. He just put the move on Herb Jones right there. Come on, you got to be a little more physical than that. You can't let him get all that. That's crazy. It's 17 up right now. New Orleans got to step it up. Point blank. They got to turn it up. They right in. It's a good game. I, I, what I do like so far, what I've noticed is Brandon Ingram is getting it going. That's key. If Brandon Ingram don't get it going, they're going to lose this game, you know, and lose this series, you know. So Ingram is key, you know. So uh, that, that's that's very important. Salute to everybody in the chat. We got an unbelievable matchup and an unbelievable game going on right now. Too bad Zion couldn't be here. You know, that would have been unbelievable. We could have gotten Zion, but, hey, we can't get it all, can we? We can't have it all. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. So let me tell anybody that's in the chat right now. It's Flight Sports. They already know what it is. Let me know if the Pelicans can win this matchup. I'm on record. I'm saying I got the Pelicans. Crazy game going on right now, that y'all. My bad, I got the sound going. Hopefully, y'all done uh, fuck up the copyrights. But um, yeah, man, it's a lot. It's a lot of things going on, man. A lot of big games. And like I said, this game might not get no bigger than this one. Yeah, that was a nasty loss. Um, Miami, they ain't gonna be able to do nothing. That's, that's gonna be the problem with Miami. Uh, without Jimmy, um, that, that it's just gonna be irrelevant to be honest with you. Uh, shout out with Will Stumbling. Uh, we got uh, we got the they all Shea Gildress, it don't get no better than this. Yeah. Shout out to Vern. I see Unc been rolling in the house. Oh, uh, yeah, flight up um, still watching it. Yeah, we, yeah, we back with it. You know, uh, we got the grand finale. Uh, between the Oklahoma City Thunder and New Orleans Pelicans. I'm, I'm up here looking at how they playing um, Brandon Ingram. I think the way they're playing B.I. is crazy. Okay. Um, rap guy said that Halle Pack good. You know, I, I, you know, son, y'all got to give me some credit. I told y'all that I think that we pumping. We need to slow down. You know, I said that at the end of the day, Damian Lillard is better than him. You know, so we make it seem like they were just going to roll in here and just, just come on now. Yeah, I forgot. Ingram, I mean, Lillard is there too. You know, so don't forget about him. We got so caught up with Giannis and everything like that. They, they still have another superstar. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. He dropped thirty-five points. Didn't I tell you that he was better? Yeah. Who, who you? Um, who? Dame Lillard? Um, no, I said that Damian Lillard was better than Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, yeah, I already know. I already know. Now, I said that. So I was trying to explain to the people. I don't know why everybody made it seem like they was in this world of trouble. No. That, that oh, man, the Pacers, they got the Pacers. And I'm, I don't know. I didn't see it. 
No, no he's not gonna outplay Dame. As yeah. good as as good as the media has hyped these idiots up, yep. you know. And like I said, the situation going on with 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 dude over there out west, you know, that's more of an indictment on Kevin Durant and his sorry ass. You know, okay. you got to get somebody to to pull a plug on some of these dudes. You know, uh, and I think Dame he he he's a killer. You know, he's gonna step on them. And um, New Orleans, like I said, they lucky they don't got Giannis. Yeah, yeah, but I will say they almost tried to give the shit away. They they made a run, you know, at the end. So they cut it. They cut it nearly, you know. I thought they were about to get in striking distance on them. So you got to be careful. But I got Grand Theft Alvarado with it. He couldn't convert it. We got a we got a tied up game with seventeen up. Playoff Shay, the MVP of the league. I'm, I'm just gonna just just prematurely say it. Um, he's in full effect. Um, we got three balls coming. Uh oh, we got a miss right there. Here comes the New Orleans Pelicans. CJ McCullum with the wrap. CJ shaking and baking. Here comes CJ. CJ. Uh oh, they doubling CJ. They kick it out to Grand Theft. Grand Theft Alvarado has it. Grand Theft. Oh, Grand Theft shaking and baking. Grand Theft all the way to the cop. And we at the end of the first quarter. Um, who you got in this series, Uncle Ryan? I'm taking New Orleans. Uh, who, who you got in this series? I'm taking game? the Pelicans. I'm taking the Pelicans, flight. Right. Why? Why? You don't think OKC is really, ready? Really, really, I don't have a dog in the fight, and I know New Orleans is closer to getting it, being successful in the playoffs than um than um the Thunder. You know, right. the Thunder just now coming up, flight. They ain't got no playoff experience, flight. They ain't got no playoff experience. Playoffs is a different beast. Um, but, um, what's the name of them? Um, the Pelicans got players that you know that's big close to they they whip the playoffs, and you know what I'm saying they can know how to conduct themselves like this young man here and that young man there. Yeah, they got some players. Thunder got a lot of young players up and coming. They ain't there yet. Well, I'm just like I said, I'm just I'm just mad that Zion not there. Yeah. We'll see that uh, you go up uh, Zion, Zion, you know, he's he doing just like you know, just like they say, you know what I'm saying? He's um giving him some rest into his time for him to come through. He's that kind of player. Once you get that kind of name, you get that can make that kind of money and got that prestige like that, you can take days off. No. Yeah, that's the way it is, like he'll be back. Yeah, I heard you. No, nah, you're right about that. Yeah. I said, Dex said the X Lakers. Let me see what's going on with that. I mean, the X uh, Hornets. Uh, like I said, PJ, I don't know what the hell was going on with PJ, man, because they was losing so bad that I wasn't even paying attention to the to the stat line. Uh, let me see. Um, PJ. Oh, so um, um, the Clippers, they didn't lose that game, did they? No, the, the Clippers won. Dallas oh, won. I thought so. Yeah, yeah, okay. I pretty much had two back to back blowouts. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I know for a fact that this game wasn't gonna be a blowout. I just didn't knew that the two teams were pretty evenly matched. You know, um okay, see they still a young team. And New, yeah. New Orleans, they actually got some veterans. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They cause major issues. I know they got a lot of commercials in this game. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, so Rosier, I don't know what the hell is going on with him. Rosier? Yeah. Oh, I would want to take, well, like I said before, they got to wait for um, Zoe to come back. <laughs> <Yeah>, well. <laughs> I, was watch, I was watching um, Shaq Dibble TNT. They was talking about Kobe White like he's the, he's the next coming up. He's the next coming. Well, you know they how they do it. Yeah. They, they, got him, they got him as one of those uh, up and coming players, they said. I didn't see. It. So like, he got that forty points one time, and he on the record. Yeah. Yeah. I think he came back the next game and got what thirteen. Something like that. Yeah, boy, I'm telling you, <laughs> they cut that off real. They cut that water off real fast. Fast. Yeah. We're coming back from a commercial break, y'all. Uh, we headed to the second quarter. Let's see what's up. Um, CJ McCollum is coming back in the game. Chet is out there. We tied up. Uh, put your picks down so there's no misconfusion later. I'm going with the Oklahoma City Thunder to lose. 
you know, and I got New Orleans winning tonight, and I got New Orleans winning this series. You know, Josh Giddy has it. Murphy picking up Giddy. Here comes um, was that Williams? Williams in the mid range, and he scores it. 1917, 11.45 to go. Oh, what the hell? What just happened? Oh, Willie Green just called a timeout. Or oh, Willie Green must be trying to send a message. He must don't like what happened. Somebody must have just gave up a jumper. He called a timeout at the beginning of the second quarter. What's the call you got? 1917, right? Yeah. Okay. 1719, uh, OKC. Okay. Uh, Willie Green just called the timeout immediately. Okay. All right, I just kept catching the tab out now. I'm just not catching. Uh, okay, see, got a bunch of players I ain't never seen before in my life. I, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I was like, okay, see, got nailed. Like, Who the hell is this dude? Yeah, I was like, this is G League or something. Yeah, they uh, just had a schedule. Yeah, but they they had no business being this good. Yeah. Okay. See, just they, they took everybody by surprise this year. Yeah. I I would say that like, come on, you get all you get all the first round, but you get all the first round picks. Like somebody got to pay it out and, and all that. I, I agree. Way. I agree with that. And say so, way well, we used to, if, if if anything, Houston is behind. They should be a whole lot farther back. Uh, nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie, man. Listen, okay. See, they they struck a little goal, but I just think like what I mean ahead is not necessarily mean in terms of. Being a good team, but they the number one seed, they way ahead. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, they, right, they're, they're, they're gonna cause Presley to have some problems. Yeah, in yeah. a good way. He gonna have to make. He gonna have to accelerate the process of these assets that he had. You know, like he gonna have to possibly. I like you was talking about. You want to see them do this? I want to see OKC trade those picks and bring in a superstar next okay. to Shea. Man. You know, that's what I want to see. You know, okay. forget all this drafting and shit. You know. The, the y'all number one C. It's time to hey, get a, get a suit, another star in there. You know, right. Use some of them picks and bring in the star. Yeah, I agree. Next to all, I don't know what that star would be. Probably a, a wing, like a dominating wing player. I don't know who that would be. But like, if Giannis and these dudes want to want to request a trade eventually down the line or whatever, whoever. Yeah. You, know, you, should, you should think about it. Jimmy Butler. You know, who knows how long Miami is going to be. You know Miami, right? At some point, at some point, they're gonna have to make a decision on him too. Yeah. <clears throat> I, see, I see Doc Rivers without got uh, what's the name? The uh, what's the name? The one from Chicago, the one that played defense real good, the one that tried to D up Zoe that one time before. What is uh, what's the name? Um, started today, start with a B. What is that fool day? Who? Do oh man, well, hold on, flight. Let me think. What is this? Oh, what is this day? The one to start trouble all the time. Do you on the Bucks team now? What is his day? Break um break. What is his day? Break. No, I know you're talking. About. Remember He's the one now. Remember when? Um, yeah, yeah. You talking about damn? He just got. He just got. He just got the bag too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I Grayson, see the Grayson Allen. No, not Grayson. Now I'm talking about Beverly. Be Beverly. Oh, Pat Beverly. Beverly. Yeah, yeah. Beverly. What about Pat Beverly? Yeah, hey, Beverly. That's who I'm talking about. The Bucks got him, but they got him down. He played. He played good today. I said he was playing some good defense and stuff. You know, he kept. He kept. He kept your boy at um at check a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's who Pat Beverly. The Bucks pick him up. Uh, that's, that's a good look. Shout out to Pat Bell. Yeah, I was around the league. We know that. Yeah. And see, that was a smart move for that defense when it comes down to playoffs. You need them point. You need them guards up there playing, putting that pressure on them, you know, like that. Nah, like I said, this is first time in the playoffs. They gonna make adjustments, but you know they're probably gonna lose the first two games. Um, I could see them going to. Um, to be honest with you, it could be a sweep, you know, because they are a better basketball team. I see know, a sweep. Uh, but yeah, I what I will it. say is I can see them going up two and then splitting the game in Indy. You know, Indiana getting one of those games and they beat them and then one of them and then they come back three one and close out. Okay, that's how that's how I see it happening. I, right. I see Indy. I don't see a sweep. I do see Indy stealing one, and then um and then that, that from there. Okay. You know, they might be able to get one in Indy. It all depends on the pressure that that Milwaukee brand. Right, exactly. 
Well, Milwaukee coming on some cutthroat shit now. Yeah, there is. It's going to be over. There is. You said there is. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Like, like I said, that 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 loss of Giannis, I don't, I don't see them, you know, I, I see them being very successful in the uh, playoffs. And against, especially against, they might not even have to play Philadelphia. Philadelphia might get their, um, might get I was going to say that they'll, they'll play, they might play the Knicks, really. Yeah. Like hey, I said, that's hey, going to, that's they're going to, they, they listen, let me tell you right now, they're going to need Giannis for New York. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm telling you right now, look, they're going to need Giannis for New York. If they don't have Giannis, they're not going to. Listen, Dame is a hell of a player. The Knicks, they, they, now he's going to do his thing, but it, it's going to be through hella high water. They're going to they're gonna be all over him like his life is on there. He's going to have to work for every single point that he scored. Josh Hart is going to be on him like, like I'm telling you, Josh Hart, don't, he'll play the whole game. Right. I mean, Dame is gonna have to work for everything yeah. going against New York, and then you're gonna have Brunson trying to go right back at him. So, I mean, like I said, it's gonna be Brunson is better than Halliburton. You know, that's why it didn't make sense why he even on the goddamn USA basketball team. You know, but like I said, is is an agenda being pushed here? You know, we yeah. gotta understand what's happening and yeah. don't get caught up. You know, yeah, motherfuckers getting compared to this one and that one. Motherfuckers going to the USA basketball team when when it's a dude that was clearly better than him who had a clearly better season. You understand right. that? But there's something going on. Right. I agree. You know, there's something going on. There's, some, there's no way that none of these guys should have made it over Brunson. Right. It, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I could see Brunson eventually making it through somebody getting hurt or injured. You got a long way to go from now yeah. to then. You know, but still, you know, it should never went down like that. Right. No. Um, well, I look at Bronson as being a way better player than Hall- than Hall- Halliburton. Yeah, Bronson is better than Halliburton. Yeah. So well, Bronson is a little more ahead in his development. Right. Exactly. You know, Halliburton is a young player. You know, Bronson is like pretty much entering his prime. Right. <laughs> so it's a little different, a little different position they have and what's going on. Right. It's um it's twenty eight twenty one right now. It's eight fifty five to go. Um, we have the New Orleans Pelicans up. New Oklahoma City is having some trouble, um, but they just scored. It's twenty three twenty eight. Okay. So, yeah, I got twenty eight twenty one. Oklahoma yeah. City got twenty one. Right. I'm, 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 I'm behind you a little bit. I got yeah. eight fifty three left. Eight fifty two. Rap guy says Siakam is their best player. Honestly. I don't know. CJ, he couldn't convert it. Here comes Chet. Chet with it. Chet going all the way to the cup. Good pass. Good play by Chet Hogan. Chet doing big things. It's 28 25. 8 10 to go in the second quarter. Here comes CJ. CJ has it. CJ McCullum. They kick it out. Grab that five around in and out on the three. Here comes Williams for Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City pushing it up with pace. Williams all the way to the cup and is off the glass and he converts it. So we got an and one right there. It's 28-27. Crazy basketball game going on right now. Crazy. Salute to all y'all that's in the chat right now. It's Flight Sports. You already know what it is. It's crazy. Yeah. Shout out Dex. Uh, shout out to everybody. You know, um, Halliburton will have a better game. You know, I ain't going to kick him too much while he's down. You know, he all right. Yeah. You know, so these guys just say who, who, who we think they are. That's all. Yeah. You know, they, they're highly promoted. You know, and that's what it is. Dame is a thing. They get so promoted. They got they put it to the point that they forgot that he was going up against Dame. Right. You know that's how that's how bad the media was trying to crucify the Bucks. They yeah. really got it out for Doc Rivers. You know yeah, that's what really was going on. They ready to just they they ready to just finish Doc. Yeah, they they, they tried to. Really- <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, they're gonna finish Doc Rivers. They try to run- slam him out. They try to run him like out the NBA, like they tried to run Trump out of America. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, but he ain't go nowhere yet, though. 
Here you go, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I like Oklahoma City. I like them. This is the first time I see them playing in the games. I like them, though. You're right about that one. Ooh. That's a crazy basketball game going on right now. Yeah. It's, it's pretty close. You know, That's, close. And another thing about Global City, also, they don't have any defense. They got some good scores, no defense. Yeah, I mean, they're just not, they not all that. They're not going to win the championship. No. No. Yeah, that's the thing. They're the number one seed, but nobody knows. Nobody's. Think they're a threat for the chip. If they had Zion Williamson, man, they would. I, I'm telling you, this series would be over. Yeah, they're lucky they don't have Zion, and I, that's why I'm saying that's messed up that Zion not here because they might lose this series. Uh, but if they had Zion, they might be able to win. This series is beatable for New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, it's beatable. Yeah, it's very beatable. It's 33 31. 643 to go in the second. Oh, say we probably caught up there because I'm about 643. I see you. Yeah. Here comes DI. <laughs> DI has it coming up. They dump it out to Jonas. Jonas posting up. We got a mismatch. Mom's in the house. The pass. Oh, okay, I see you. Couldn't score. Okay, yeah. Like I'm okay, see. Murphy coming out. It's a Marshall. They kick it Ooh. up out of Rado. See Valentunas. Valentunas in the mid range. And they couldn't convert it. Here comes OKC. There they go. Williams. And they couldn't convert it. He makes it. A good play right there from Williams. 33-33. So the, the game is pretty close, man. I, I want to know who's going to break away. Um, here goes B.I. They kick it out. They couldn't convert it. Here they go. Comes um, OKC. Tied up. Yeah. 33-33. Yeah, he just hit that jumper. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, turn over for OKC. Good jump, good jump. You I got Marshall with it. Um, Marshall has us 505 to go. Or 507. Look up, we got a break, we got a commercial break coming. Okay. So I gotta yes. go. We got a break in the action. Excited, very exciting. Well, you know, I'll tell you something. It ain't nobody on the, the Thunder team that can shoot outside jump shot, is it? Nope. Oh, boy, boy. And they was number one, huh? <laughs> boy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And they, ooh, they, that's right. They play at the West. Number one team in the West? Yeah. Dang. Man, man, man. That ain't saying much for the West. Like, <laughs> it ain't saying much at all. Yeah. What you think about the WNBA? Oh, man, Flat, I love it. I love what they're doing, man. And, and Flat, guess what, boy? I'll tell you, boy. Uh, the Sky, right? Chicago Sky. They got um, Reese. And they got the other uh, female from South Carolina, the center, the seven, the six, the six, seven young lady. Oh, I'll tell you, Flight. The WNBA is moving up there, boy. I'm glad, boy. Yeah, they moving up, Flight. Uh, College I, moving up. That's, I mean, it's sad that we had to, it was good that they coming in, but it's sad that we had to get some other players to come in for us to realize how great the league was. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing about it, they did better than the men's did. Oh, well, 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 well I can't say I ain't ready to know. I can't. They, the men was, the, um, the women's was more exciting than the men's. Uh, well, actually, the women's um, drew more views than the men's did. I said women's basketball is definitely um it's back. 
If, 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 if it ain't went nowhere, it's back. It's definitely back now. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> it don't make no sense. So what's that? No, nah, um, just uh, all the, all this crazy basketball. Oh, okay. Oh uh, man, playoffs are starting. So let's see, let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Who, who got the most pressure um, on them this playoff? Like you said, the uh, the Bucks do. To me, the Bucks do. The Bucks at uh, what's the name? The Bucks at uh, the Lakers. Because they what they just can't wait to go get LeBron down too. They don't see LeBron going nowhere. They just can't wait to they just jump up out of there so they can jump on them in the West, but in the East, the Bucks because the Doc, like you said, remain the reason because of Doc Rivers and then Giannis because they want Giannis up out of out of Milwaukee. So them two teams right there got the most pressure. To be honest with you, Philadelphia ain't got that kind of pressure because they ain't got nobody in B. They can always wait for a B next year. He ain't going nowhere. Uh -huh. So that ain't that ain't really no pressure with them. To be honest with you, Philadelphia ain't that much expected to do no better than what they did last year. So there ain't gonna be no big old concern they lose. But the Bucks and the Lakers. Yeah, you're right about that. The Bucks, like I said, it's gonna be pressure. So like I said, with Philadelphia, Philadelphia ain't never been there. The closest they got there was playing against Kawhi and them when they was playing out there in, in Toronto. When, when they played Toronto, they, you know, they uh, beat them with that shout out Kawhi Leonard. You know, Philadelphia just got a good team and they all right when it come down to playoffs, they fail. They're expected to do the same thing this time. And then B might not even finish, not even, you know what I'm saying? He might come up lipping and everything else. Uh, it's, it's, it's strange with them. That's all it is. It's just strange. And NBA is strange. I saw it was an NBA travesty. Yeah, it sure was. Like I said, especially to, to put some of these fools on. You know, Brunson, that, that lets you know that the NBA, they, they still view Brunson in this, in this thing. You know, he was ahead of schedule too. They might have had some other people they wanted to promote. Brunson right. came out of nowhere. Right. He wasn't supposed to be in the conversation. Oh yeah. Right. Now, now, yeah. You can't say all these people, all these guards is better than Brunson. Well, right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying with all due respect. Okay. But know, we, can't, we can't just line up all these point guards and say they're just better than Brunson. It's it's just it's just like um, what's the name that um that guard they they got out there in uh, in Denver. Um, they said he ain't never been in all. He never made an All Star game. He never been an All Star. What's his name? The one that the um, the I one that they got they got they got you give in Denver the, in, with Denver, the guard, the the guard, the point Murray. guard. Yeah, Murray. He should at least make it at least one time. Yeah, I don't think he I don't think he ever made All Star. But look how he good he is though. I so he should hopefully for his career is over. Yeah. Yeah, but but look how good he is though. We, well, I, I put Murray up there with, with the, that one guy with Brunson. I put Murray right up there with him. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you think Murray could lead a team by himself? Yeah, heck yeah. He dead. Yo, he dead. Gonna do it with Denver. No, I know, but I mean, how would it look if if, if dude wasn't there? Jokic requires a lot of attention. If, if, if dude That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, Jokic, Jokic. <laughs> The defense is shifting to him and then opening up for him. So what is that going to be if he don't have that? So you got yeah, well, I agree with I too. agree with that too. I agree with that too. But this is say they got the same flavor with that open with um what's the name? The um the, the one that used to play. They got what's the name? The, the dark skin brother used to play for the Pelicans. Six nine dude used to play for the Lakers and then play for the Pelicans. Who are you talking about? The young boy? No, uh, what's his name? Um, the center, the, the center, not the, the center power Jeez. forward. Say his name. Jackson Hayes? No, not Jackson Hayes. The dark skin. What's his name? Randall. Oh, Randall. Okay. Hey, don't know. Hey, Randall still on the Knicks? Yeah, but he's hurt. Oh, okay. He out, he out. He won't be back till next year. Oh, I didn't know that. 
I, I, thought that, I thought that was people they need um scoring everything. I told you I ain't been watching no NBA games. Flight. There's a lot of things I don't know. Shit. Don't don't get me don't don't get me twisted. Yeah, I ain't been watching. No, I ain't been watching no games. Period. Yeah, and just called on to the women's game just a little recent, just recently. Yeah. Well, Kyrie, they they doing they just gonna they gonna bury Kyrie. They never gonna put Kyrie where he need to be. He right. Be. They just don't like him, so they 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 trying to leave him off of shit. But yeah, Kyrie, he's another one. You can't line all these people up and say they better than Kyrie. No, so, I yeah, would. Yeah, so <laughs> you know that is what it is. <sighs> The game, this game is looking pretty good too, y'all. The yeah. game is neck and neck. Nobody really um should getting a jump on nobody. We headed to halftime too. It was 39 38, 3 three minutes to go in the second. We got um Shay. Shay uh oh go. Here comes Chet. Chet has it. Home city, they're trying to. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw that pass they did to Nas with the dunk. Yeah. They got 39, 42, 35 to go. Uh CJ got he has it, kicks it out to Larry Nance. Chet is on Nance. And kick it to BI. Behind the mid-range. They got a break of eye since so 39 40. Okay, I'm just not seeing what you were saying about Nas. Okay, I, you, okay, I, there you go. Oh, foul. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's a crazy, crazy game going on right now. Says, damn. Ooh. Oh, okay, Ben. Here you go. <laughs> I got to score 39 to 40, 210 to go in the second quarter. Halftime is fastly approaching. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got two, 217 in the second. All right. I'm here. I got play on Shea with it, picked up by her. Play on Shea. Oh, Shea just got blocked by CJ. And the walls look like they just threw the goddamn ball out of bounds. Who ball is that? It's, it's, it's New Orleans ball. That's a buck fifty-seven to go. Shea is out there, y'all. Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has eleven points, three rebounds, and one assist. The MVP is out there, y'all. We got my man Bi. Bi has it. Kicks it out to Valentunas to Murphy for three, and he couldn't convert it. Murphy got to start hitting these threes. He, he, he's selling on these threes. Uh oh, jumper from Shea. Shea going to be kicking back to Shea. Shea looks like he, Murphy all on Shea. Shea in the mid range, and he couldn't convert it. Rebounded by Brandon Ingram. Um, here they go. It's 41 40. 120 to go in the second. No, I'm telling you, boy, they can't do this too. Neither one of them teams got no shooters on their team. You said they ain't got no shooters? None of them got no shooters. Pelicans don't. None of them got no shooters out there. Ain't none of them out there with no shooters. Yeah, I'm just not getting the chance to see um Herb Williams' game, too. I like him. He's athletic. I mean, Herb, I mean, um, Herb Jones. Oh, that's his name, Jones. Double five for the Pelicans. 
Yeah, that's right about that. Yeah, okay, okay. I thought it was Will. Yeah, he's athletic. He's real athletic. I like you. <coughs> right. <coughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Um, Dak says, yeah, you're right about that. These guys better take advantage. Hey, 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 hey you, you don't say nobody out there here do a good job for you, Hattie. Okay, uh, what Dave just did, what with the brains, he just, he <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, now, yeah, uh, number one, it's halftime now. Yeah, it's tied up too. I'm tied at the high. Oh, okay. I got 41 43. Okay, see up ahead. Yeah, so both these two teams clearly having the slug fest. Yeah, nobody, nobody really letting up. Okay, boop. Yeah. yeah that was good work. There you go. Okay, yeah, 43 43. I got you. Yeah. Uh. Tomorrow got some good games coming on too. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you like to play the ball, don't they? Yep. Okay. Well, we got, we got Lakers. LeBron James, LBJ. Um, this is halftime right now. No Zion is tied up. So just imagine if they had Zion. That's what you got. That's what we got to think about. Yeah. What if Zion was present? <clears throat> Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'm telling you, that would be a lot. Well, shout out to everybody that's in the chat right now. Yeah. Well, we're in the midst of a halftime break right now. They're ready to play old shit. All these guys are full of fat. Shout out to OKC. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, put down in the chat who y'all think gonna win this game when the, the score being so close. There's a lot of time left. A lot of time to be played. Oh, shout out to everybody. We got playoff basketball in the midst of a halftime break. Put your picks out in the chat. I know we live. Well, maybe a playoff basketball. Don't get no better than this. Don't get no better than this in the playoffs. Who 
they think the Lakers can win tomorrow? Uh, hopefully, flight. Hopefully, hopefully. I think they can win. Yeah, I think they can win the series. But whether they do it or not, I don't know, flight. I know they're gonna be easy. That's what they. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think uh, Denver got the uh, Lakers number. Yeah, that's what I think. I think they got everybody number. Yeah. No, I'm with you, though. I think the Lakers in trouble. They should have got OKC, man. They should have did everything in their power to make sure they played Oklahoma City. They would have swept OKC. Oh, yeah. But I guess they ain't want to take no chances with Sacramento or, or New Orleans or something like that. Yeah. Because they would have had to play Sacramento. I think they would have beat Sacramento. Yeah. Games, yeah. Yeah, man. This is no talent. You know? LeBron made the call. Yeah. They in trouble. They, they, they played all right in the beginning of that game against the Nuggets, but, you know, I just think that's just too much. Yeah, you know, Denver's just a better team. Right? What they play? What was they playing? Did it Denver? Yeah, they played. Of this course. Game. Yeah, right. Yeah, eventually, yeah. But I mean, if, if you get, if you some, I mean, I would rather lose probably in the second or third or, or conference finals than losing in the first round. LeBron, right. it's not really first round exit. is not really the best. Right, you know, all that power, all that money that they put into this roster with AD and LeBron, they're not supposed to be losing in the first round, man. You know, we just trying to make the shit sound good and sugar coated and all that. LeBron should not be getting looked at. He shouldn't be getting eliminated in the first round. I agree. Kevin Durant shouldn't be getting eliminated in the first round. I agree. You know, just, I'm just, I'm just saying. For some reason, we lower the standards for these guys, and that's why we got our legends of, of yesterday. They just having to have a head scratch at moments. Yeah. You know, and then the next day they being compared to this guy and that guy. Yeah. You know. So. But to me, everything falls in the proper place like it's supposed to. The younger uh, are supposed to be coming up. It ain't no reason why they should be held down. It's too many. It's too many, especially in the NBA. It's too many older players sitting on the bench that've been around for 12, 13, 14 years, and they just went to a certain extent just getting a check and getting a spot on the bench. There's some youngsters out there that need to be getting them spots. I always thought that, and still do. Well, I agree. But but I'll tell you something though. But I ain't stupid. I'm not confused. I know when it come down to older players like KD and certain players like that, you understand me. I see why they still get their shine and they respect because they demand it. They can still come out and give you thirty to forty points a game with no problem. And if you got to right. do that, then you got a player. I agree with that. Hope there is. I agree with that. Shout out Lamont. Um, salute to everybody in the chat. Put put down your picks. Who you got one in this game? OKC or New Orleans? It's tied up right now. We got so many blowouts and landslides. You know, it's good to have it. This might be the, this is the closest game today. Shit, Austin was a blowout. Um, shit, what was, what was the next game? The Bucks. The Bucks, huh? That was a blowout. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was wild. My mom said he got OKC. Uh, OKC a good squad now. <coughs> I just don't know. I'm not ready to, to clown him just yet. So I got OKC, though. Shea is, a, is the truth. More than likely, he's going to win the MVP. So we got we to gotta show respect to the MVP now. Nobody saw it coming either. If he did, you're lying. Nobody seen this from Shaq. Nobody, th- nobody knew he was this good. You know, we knew he was good, but we didn't know he was like this. Hey, is Golden State still in it? Uh, no. Okay. Golden State is out. They couldn't get the job done, huh? Yeah, they're they going to make some changes out there this, this uh, next season coming up. 
Well, I mean, they start they're starting to already lean towards that. Okay. You know, yeah, you they're starting to get they're starting to get to that point. You think Clay Thompson gonna be sitting be being go to tap soon? Uh, I think that he could be the odd man out. Right. I gotta think that he could be one of them, or the, or like I said, he's just gonna take less money. So hey, they can hey, bring, hey, that's what's gonna be the key. You right. know, you know what's gonna come back and hunt them? What Lamelo? No, 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 yeah, well, that too. Yeah, that, especially that right there. We ain't going to speak up on that. If I think about that, that give me a headache. But we're going to come back and hunt them is that guy they got rid of because of the one that, uh, what's the name, Draymond, they fired on. Oh, he was a future. He was a future. Yeah, and I know. That's what I'm saying. They need young talent. Yeah, they, they, they shouldn't let go of their young talent. Right. Especially productive young chap. He he fit with them. He might not he he ain't ready to be the face of no franchise, but he fit with them. Yeah, he fit perfectly with them. They, 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 fell, know, they the, fell for the Okie though. Or they, they, or they picked Draymond. See any other franchise they would have traded Draymond. Right with the you know, but, but, but the fact that this is okay, I mean Golden State. They, even though Draymond is on his way out the door, they still roll with him. Yeah. So we got to get bad choice, and, and and see the ownership. I was looking at how the ownership loved that young man. They loved him. They liked him like he was. Well, I'll tell you, they thought he was the next Steph Curry. Uh -huh. Yeah, they liked him for real. They liked him, and that's one of the reasons why Draymond did what he did. He was jealous. He seen the productivity and how much um, attention he was getting. That's why he did that. That's the only reason why he did it. Hey, come down to money. Um, Rams, yeah, I think with Clay, it's gonna come down to money. I think that it's up to Clay. He's gonna have to look in the mirror and say, you know, yeah, uh, I should take a little less. But yeah, yeah. the thing is, you're gonna have other teams ready to put top dollar down. So that's what that's a, that's how it's supposed to be. So that's gonna be the biggest issue. Yeah, go to state no damn well, he ain't worth no max. Clay Thompson, so they worked the he back. He ain't no max player. No, yeah. yeah he ain't that dog. No, no. no. He's over with. <coughs> but he might have a team willing to put down the near max for him. <coughs> the thing about that, if you sign up to all that, if you sign up to a big contract with all that money, he ain't going to be able to fulfill it because he get too old. He going to take too many days off. He going to be hurt too much like he doing now. Yeah. Why would you do you be a fool to sit up there and take a person that they and look at their record? Look at look at look at the games they took off. Look at their health. Look, look at their health record. Wouldn't do that. You'd be super silly. That'd be ridiculous. No, to a certain extent, to a certain extent, he's still the valuable player. He got maybe two or three more good years in the uh, in the league, but it ain't gonna be man, it ain't like that no more. He ain't gonna be going off for of 70 no more no time soon. Right. You said those days over? Them days over. <laughs> I said them days over. Them days over, Flack. You know, he might get you 30 or 40. What about, you know, a couple of working on down the line? Like, you know, you get hot a couple of times, but he ain't going to do like he used to. Right. I don't blame you. Yeah. Yeah. No, he ain't going to do that. I don't, I don't see that. Yeah. I said, you know what I'm saying? No, I like Clay Thompson though. He's a good player. I like right. him. play. He played defense and he played offense. You understand me? He got to jump with it in one way. But he, he ain't gonna be no more days like he used to have. Yeah. So, so what's up with Curry? What he gonna do? He gonna be in Golden State for life, right? Yeah, he go. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, he gonna be there for life. He ain't going to Wells. He gonna retire there. After the season, his businesses and everything is going to be pertaining to uh, San Francisco out there in Oakland, out there in that area, the Bay Area. That's going to yeah, be so out there. Curry, he just strike me as an old school dude. He's going to stay with one team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I know his father, you would play for a lot of teams. His father played for like, what, what four or five teams, and six, maybe six teams in the NBA. Charlotte, the Bucks, he played for a lot of teams. The Lakers, I think he did, did he? Yeah, I know, he, he, known, he known for Charlotte, though. Yeah. Right, 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 right. That's where he ended up at. He got the good, his career. Though. That's, what that's, that's where all his history is. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, I remember when he was with the Bucks. Yep. Yeah, I mean, when he was with them, when he was playing with them. 
So, um, what do you think about chat? I like him, um, uh, flight. The well, did your young boy that's um, out there in Oklahoma? Yeah, I like how him. good is he? Nice, man, he's nice. Like, I like I like his demeanor, I like everything. I, I like him because he remind me of KD. He do, you know, he got it. He, you know, he get it. A lot of people don't get basketball, but he get it, though. He get it, and he and he's talented too. He's very talented. And he ain't the type of person that's gonna rely, just gonna lay back and just not learn any more things. You can see him just putting on the show. That's the difference between some players. Some people just rely on their abilities and they don't get no no better than you know, no deeper than that. Like when I was talking with Dex the other day, we was talking about Embiid and stuff like that. You see how Embiid come out? And he don't get no. It's just like he just talent, like like Shaq, straight talent. Don't work on nothing, just straight talent. He work on shooting threes and throwing the ball up at the basket so he can go get it and dunk again. Those are two through those are three moves right there. Those are two moves. Those are go-to moves. But um, yeah, but yeah, that, that young that young that young guy out there, that young guy in Oklahoma, man, he 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 coming on real nice. He'd have got rookie of the year if he if he'd have stayed, if he'd have, um was healthy. This first year, he easily got rookie of the year. Oh, yeah. My, my bad. All right. I'm looking at um. Put my piece down. And look, I'm coming back from um from halftime. It's forty three, forty three. It's two hour, two hour minutes. About to get started. Second half, who will survive? Here comes Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy with the rock. Josh Giddy has it. He's crossing half. He gives it to Chet. He got Chet. He has it. The serve in the landscape. And kick it out. We got a break. We got a stoppage right now. Well, maybe 44 to go. Here comes CJ. CJ has it. He picked up. They give it out to BI. BI picked up by Williams. Screen coming with Murphy. BI cross court to Herb Jones in the corner for three in and out. Rebounded by Shea Gildress. Alexander. Playoff Shea is in full effect right now. They kick it to check for three, and he missed it. Check keep chucking up these threes, man. He ain't converting them. Um, here goes BI. It's tied up. Brandon Ingram. Going to kick out Herb Jones for three. They trust in Herb. He missed it again. Um, here goes Shea. Playoff Shea. He has the ball. Playoff Shea all the way to the cut, man. He couldn't convert it. Here comes Valanchunas. He gives it out to CJ. CJ kicks it out to um, Valanchunas. Back to Valanchunas. He converts it. Good play. It's 45 43, 10 40 to go in the third. Here goes Williams. Williams has the rock. Williams has it. They kick it out to Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy has it. <clears throat> Giddy all the way to the cup. And Williams, he couldn't convert it. Uh, Williams, he kicks it back to Shea. Shea has it. Shea all the way to the cup with the turnaround. Now back to Dort, and he scores it. Good play right there from Dort. Excellent. It's 45-46. 
crazy play going on right now. <clears throat> Salute to all y'all in the chat. back with it. It's 45-46. And we got a big play right there. It's 48-45. OKC is winning. B.I. has it. B.I. taking the screen. B.I. free throw line jump and he scores it. 47-48. 9.30 to go in the third. Williams has it. He's crossing half. Screen coming with Chet. Williams all the way to the cup. Chet Hogan, he falls to the ground. Um, here goes Shea. Shea pump faking. Playoff Shea in the mid-range with a turnaround. He couldn't convert it. Here comes CJ. CJ McCullum with it. CJ shaking and baking. Screen coming with Valentina. CJ kicks it out. Three ball. Cash by Murphy. New Orleans is back up. We got a timeout. We're going to break into action. It's 50-48. to 48. New Orleans just took a two-point lead. It's 9-0-2 remaining in the third quarter. We got the first-round matchup. No Zion Williamson. Uh, too bad he's not available for him. Because if it was, it would be trouble. <laughs> no, trouble. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be back for the next game. Yeah. I, I hope so. Or just, or just come back for this series. Right, exactly. I agree. Well, I think if he out for the series, that'll just be sad. Yeah, because you know they this, this not gonna be a cakewalk. Welcome to the city ain't gonna just get up like that. Oh no. You know they can't afford to sit him down. To be honest with you, if they if they got to, they got to. That's there ain't no doubt about that. But uh, they can't afford to be wrestling if he can go. No. We'll see after this game. This is the first game anyway, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm about that. Mm <laughs> it's just funny as hell. Dex and Zion Williamson for game three. I, I think they're going to beat uh, Oklahoma City, especially yeah. still one of these games early. Yeah. Game three, huh? Yeah, Zion should be back. I hope so. <clears throat> I hope that. I wish that Jimmy was there. You know, that, that, that really just sucks because I think Boston, they're getting away. They're getting away with murder right now, you know. And I think they, they know damn well Jimmy is the one that stirs up everything. He the, he the, he the difference maker. Who you know? Who's Jimmy? Jimmy Butler. He, oh, he's their arch oh. nemesis. You know, all oh, of them is getting is, over this playoff. Is he, out for, is, out there. is he out for Miami? He out. Man. Jimmy is out. Yeah. He out indefinitely, man. Okay. That's crazy. He played the rest of that damn game. I'm like, goddamn. Yeah, that's crazy. And he's a he's a dog too, so I know he hurt. That don't make sense, Jimmy. He gonna miss the whole playoffs. That don't sound like Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, I'm well. <laughs> Tell you, if you can't help it, you can't help it. <laughs> yeah, like you can't, yeah. you can't, um, you can't account for this kind of shit. They be all right though. I like what I'm seeing from Kevin. Chris Stapps puts in because he's looking good. Hmm. Man, looking like a good player, man. Who, who are they going to play? I mean, they're going to play an easy matchup, too. The next round, they're going to play, I think, Cleveland. They're going to destroy Cleveland. Conference finals, that'll be epic. The Knicks versus the Celtics in the conference finals. You got Porzingis, he got to go through the garden. 
Big Ronner is going to be so unforgiving to him. That's going to be crazy. Man. It's like a full circle moment. He's going to be seeing everything he could have had. Like he in Boston. Yeah, he doing good, but it's not his team. You know, he riding somebody else's way, you know, so at the end of the day. So it's, it's messed up. It's, um, it's 50 to 48 right now. Um, 8.50 to go in the third. Here comes Williams for OKC. He's drawing the double. Williams step back three over Valanchunas. Cash is 51-50. OKC took the lead. It's 8.40 to go in the third. Here comes um, Jones. They kick it to Valanchunas. Uh, Herb Jones, they dump it back to Valanchunas, posting up on Chet. Jonas, and he couldn't convert it, but he puts it back up. He gets his own rebound, and we got, we got a jump ball. A jump ball right now. It's crazy. Play on Shays out here in full effect, y'all. You know who y'all got winning this series? Is it going to be Oklahoma City? Is it going to be New Orleans? Let me know. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. Where do you got? Who you like? He says, I hate Valentine. It's fake tough guy. Yeah. Hey, man, somebody got to somebody gotta uh, be out there with him. Uh-oh. Here comes Chet. I mean, Shay. Shay with it all the way to the cup. Uh, he scores it. Shay off the glass. He real calm and cool right now. That's why I see the way he plays. There comes B.I. B.I. look like he just got knocked over. What the hell? It's 50 to 53. It's 50 to 53. Oh. Uh, it goes Shea. Shea with the turnaround back to Chet. Chet Hogan. Uh, Chet, he's, he puts it on. 50 to 55. It's 7.55 to go in the third. Crazy game going on right now. Crazy. Lamar said, OKC, baby. Well, let's see if OKC can get the job done. You know, there's a lot of time left. Um, You know, no sh- no one's got to keep going. They got B.I. They got to let him get active. It's, I just wish B.I. was 100% healthy. You know, um, I think y'all be in for some trouble. Uh, y'all very well could be in for trouble. You know, I hope we might get into a situation where it's B.I. versus Shea. You know, like I said, B.I. he a problem. He's going to put the ball in the hole. So this is actually going to be a good little series, in my opinion between these two young teams, you know, Oklahoma City really don't have much veterans, but New Orleans, they got a lot of veteran leadership scattered around. So all of that is key to what they're trying to do. You know, uh, this should be an epic close, in my opinion. Who knows how this game will end? Yeah, um... I, I, I would say the same thing. When you say epic, I would say the same thing because a lot of people might remember this series for a long time and might put Oklahoma City on the map. Yeah, they might. So, yeah, I agree with that. Epic, yeah. yeah I agree, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with Scott. Everybody waiting to see see the outcome of the game. So we're in the midst of a commercial break right now. Playoff shades in the fact. A lot of blowouts. This happened to be uh, what the closest game. So I wish all the games were like this. A lot of these games today was over in the first quarter. You pretty much knew the first couple of plays how this is going to go. Right. 
Okay. Hopefully all that's done tomorrow. We got game twos. So, you know, game twos, people, people making adjustments. You know, they start coming back a little sharper, you know, with a different game plan. Adjustments, you know, all that's going to be key to see how the coaches adjust game to game. You know, um, cause that's going to help win, win as well. You know, playoffs has begun. First round is, is, is on the racket. Yep. All right. And then those yeah, it is. Oh. Everybody get in the chat. Hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. You already know. It's Flight Sports. Uh, we got third quarter action. It's 7.55. It's a five-point game. It's not over. It's 50-55. to 55. Um, Playoff Shea is out there. Herb Jones is all over him. You know, so that should be a pretty entertaining uh, matchup. Herb Jones want to be known as this defender. They got these slogans and and stuff like that. Not on Herb. Now you got an opportunity to to really prove yourself. Now, oh, Shea playing some defense on Herb. Right, you know, Alan Chunis with it. They kick it out. They find Brandon Ingram. We got Shea on on Bi. That's gonna be intriguing. Murphy step back three ball. He need to stop doing this. Right, them shots is getting ugly. I just think he just chucking them. <laughs> well, OPC beat the young team stereotype. Well, I think they gotta they gotta do something in the playoffs. Because if they had the Lakers, I think the Lakers would have beat them. You know, yeah. OKC and New Orleans, like I said, OKC could kind of, especially without Zion, they kind of could figure things out. You know, I think if they would have had the Lakers with A D. You know, the way AD and LeBron, if they would have came out against OKC, the way they came out against Denver, they would have they punched them in the face. They would have won. Right. It would have been too much. It would have just like, uh, they ain't never seen nothing like this, that level of intensity. You know, so with, with New Orleans, it is, it's allowing them to kind of relax and ease into the playoffs, believe it or not. Okay. It's, yeah. And, not, and, that, and that's a good thing. On edge right away. Yeah, and that's a good thing. That gets, yes, it is. That yeah. is a good thing. <laughs> that gives them chance enough to get their hands together. It's yes. Fun or not. Yeah, because they don't have nobody that's like like LeBron. And they done been there, done that. They're going to capitalize on all their mistakes. Yeah. They're capitalize on their inexperience. You know, right. like New Orleans, I don't think they're going to be able to do that. Yeah. You know, they got a lot of holes. Zion is hurt, so they can't capitalize like Another you you're gonna see Oklahoma City get exposed when they get further into the rounds. You know, yeah, I understand that. I understand certain that. teams is just gonna be too much for them. They gonna struggle to get up out of this spot. Then they'll struggle to get up out of the next. Like they're gonna be the next series. They're gonna be playing the Clippers, or um, you know, or Dallas. Oh, so they could be either what they could beat any one of them. I, well, it all depends if they got. I tell you what, the Clippers could beat them if they have. They're gonna need uh, obviously Kawhi. I, I right. think Kawhi, he's the ultimate difference maker. I think Kawhi's there, they can wrap the series up quick. Right. Okay, but I can, yeah, okay, I, I, I can see OKC going deep into it because of the fact because of people that they draw and who they pull it. Yeah. They can beat the people that they pull it. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, they can beat they they don't have to beat them easily. They can they they can beat them. Yeah. All they have to, yeah. All they have to do is set their game up. Get the show. They ain't a good boat though. They get a good draw. It's just like if you gambling, this is the kind of draw you want to get. If you play at cards, you will hold oh, boy. I like this hand. They get a good hand. Yeah. You know, it ain't like they like they like 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 the Lakers get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, the Lakers got they put the Lakers put up a rough hand. Lakers put a real rough hand. Yeah, they got to start off with the champions first. I agree with that. Yes. <laughs> boy, I'm telling you. Yeah, boy, I'm telling you. That's why it's always good to be winning a lot of games so that way you don't get it too bad in the playoffs. You know, you don't come up against somebody that's, that's more than your equal. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Get a blessing. Lakers ain't getting no blessings. 
No, nah, nah. <laughs> no, nada. And if, when they get past them, then they got to get to the next one. And that's going to be a hard level. I'm sorry, Dex, if you're listening. It don't look good for the home team. The Lakers? Yeah. <laughs> he said don't look good for the home team. Nope. I'm telling you. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you. Uh, I know Dex ain't bad no none of them games. Yeah. No, no, Flack. It's going to be rough, man, for them, man. Now, Dex is like it's going blind, eight with three spades. Fifty seven sixty three. It was uh, fifty seven sixty three four thirty four to go. They're going to be a uh, jump of Murphy. He can't combine it. Here comes OKC. Six-point game right now for OKC. Shea. Shea hit a mid-range. It's uh, 57-65. Eight-point game. Four minutes in the third. Here comes Murphy. Murphy just scored it. 59-65. So it's going back and forth. Here comes Williams. Williams has a screening to Shea. Shea has it. Shea kicking it out. Williams, he couldn't convert it. 65 shade all the way to the cut where he got his shit blocked. Marshall blocked him. From CJ. CJ putting the moves on. CJ, uh oh, I put kick it out. CJ finds Murphy. And CJ, CJ has it floated. He can't convert it. Rebounded by Larry Nance. Big play from Nats. 61-65. Three minutes remaining. Here comes Shea. Play off Shea. All the way to the cup. He couldn't get the foul. Nats, he, he fell out of bounds. <laughs> Dude, Shea looking like what the hell happened. <coughs> Shea, he a good player, man. got to give him credit. Yeah, he is. He good. That'd be crazy if they if they do play the Clippers because you remember he got traded from the Clippers and uh, Paul George used to be on the Thunder. Yeah. Westbrook was on the Thunder. That'd just that just be a lot. Hey, who you who you like the best between Maxi and um, Gilchrist? Say Gilchrist. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with Shay. Okay. Shea is better. He's more of a number one option. Okay. So he playing with Joel and Bede. You know, it's a lot of attention. Right. So when Joel is gone, they're basically about to fall out the playoffs. Right. So. Yeah, basically. He a good running mate for Joel, though. I think he would be better, a better third option. 
uh, Tyrese. Not a not a second option. He he were, he's he's a third option to me in my opinion. Right. It'll be great. They bring in a, a, another a bona fide second option. Right. That's why I need to let go of Harris, Ubre, and all of them and try to bring in the star. Yeah, okay. That's what that is. Heal, they got healed over there. They got they can make some moves. Yeah. Uh, good plan. Um, yep. That's Nance. He just put it up. That's right. Yeah. What does score look like? Um, you know, like they're trying to hang in there. It's um, 69 66. Okay, CL3 got a minute remaining in the third, headed into the fourth quarter. Um, there goes CJ McCollum. He's shaking and begging CJ all the way to the cup, and he scores it. It's 68 69. Uh, Shea with it. Then we got the defense coming up on the Marshalls on Shea. Shea shaking and begging. Shea Gildress. They're moving the ball. Shea all the way to the. Oh, he got a shit strip. Shea just got stripped. 68, 69, remaining. 68, 69. Pushing it all the way up, and they can convert it. Williams scores it, so we got it. We got it towards the fourth quarter. We got another possession. Here comes CJ. CJ has the ball. He's shaking and begging. CJ has a good pass to Grand Theft Alvarado. He got blocked. They're moving the ball. Good pass. Three ball. A cash. Big play right there. We go into the we headed to the fourth quarter. And OKC is up. 68 64. That's crazy. No one was they trying to blow this game. That's sad. They're clearly the better team. Clearly. You still there, Uncle Van? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Flat, hey, Flat, I'm going to tell you something, boy. Flat, uh, I know you ain't gave up photo, man, but they still doing things out there at CU, man, with Coach Pride. Boy. Oh, no, oh, no, hell no. I ain't give up on them, man. I'm sitting there trying to really, uh, man. I'm trying to, uh, I, don't, I, I don't want to do no, I don't, I don't want to talk that. Yeah, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 Flat, I'm going to tell you something. He went, out to, he went out to six dogs today. He had brought the in, three of them signed already on the dotted line. He, he tried to wait for the other three to come in. And he finna get this quarterback, man. He finna get this quarterback right uh, coming up out of California, man, to take uh, take the job of his son for next year. And this young boy look good, too. He a five-star. He good. Nah, I already, I, listen, I already know what Prime's going to do. Uh, yeah. but I'm glad we got a commercial break. Can you just hold me down for like two minutes right quick? I'm yeah, I can do that. I'm coming right back before the fourth quarter. It's two minutes. There's a commercial yeah, I, break. I, I, I can do that. 
Yeah, but like, but like I was saying though, y'all, I'll tell you something, man. With um, with fight sports TV, and then when it come down to the boxing and the football and stuff like that. Flight only follow winners. His old show, they only follow winners. Like even with basketball, they only follow winners. They only go after winners. So that's what we want to be engaged with, with winners and be associated with winners. Whether it's boxing, football, baseball, or anything else, you want to be associated with winners. So if that's the case, then you want to follow Flight Sports TV because we associate ourselves with winners. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But this is a good game, though. Let me get, let me get back to it to find out what's going on. Yeah, and I like OKC. I think OKC can go far, but it's just the fact that I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't really see them winning this game. I don't see them winning the series anyway. Just because of the fact they got um, the Pelicans got a lot of talent. They got a lot of talent and they got a lot of experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me get to it. Let me see. Where we at now? Go. Mm -hmm. Okay, where we at? Go over. Go down. Here we go. Watch live. Okay, commercial. So yeah, we had a commercial now in the game. And it'd be hard for me to answer any questions. So if you write anybody writing questions in the chat, I can't see the chat because I'm watching the, the game, the basketball game, and my phone, and neither one of them got the chats on it. So please be patient with me because I can't see the chat. But thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, tuning in to Flight Sports TV, though. Mm -hmm. And it's a commercial, in the break. It's a commercial that's going on in the game now. Or at least I'm catching, I'm seeing commercial now. I don't know if it started back yet, but I'm watching the commercial. Several of them for that matter. Still the commercial. I'm telling you. Tell the swift. Okay, that's what that is. Tell the swift. Okay. Okay, I guess we're going to see some action. Oh, nice. Nice move. Well, they doing it. Okay. That's a good move. It's 18 points, 2 or 6. I'm back with you, huh? Okay, good. Yeah. They just now started back the game. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going back right, right now. All right. Fourth quarter. Yep, yeah, fourth quarter. Who will survive? Oh, uh, yeah. Who will survive? 
Shout out Thunder, AD showing up, everyone else getting cooked. You know? So they better show up on this game right there. Mm, good move. See, okay, good. I like that. Yeah. It's 6876. Yeah. Who I survive. All right, all right. Um, I'm ahead of you there. It's 7076. Oklahoma City by six. Yeah, I got 7078. Oh, okay. You ahead of me there. Yeah. We got a good ball game. Oh, yeah. yeah. A good basketball game right now. CJ couldn't convert it, but Youngest, he tried to put it back. He got his rebound. And the ball got tipped out of bounds. Okay. Ooh, good pull, good move. I see Jay. Okay, I see where it got tipped out of bounds. I got you. Donuts. Yeah. Definitely going down to the wire. 72 82. They up 10 now. Yeah. 10 minutes remaining. Valentunas with it. They kick it out, posting up. Valentunas got double right there. Yeah. yeah. Do what I mean by Hogan. Valentunas going to the line for two. What, what, what'd you say? Do what I mean by Hogan. He's, he's a threat outside and inside. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. We know that. Yeah. You remind me of KD. Except he played defense. KD don't care hey, about no defense. Well, he didn't start playing defense till late on. Yeah. When he when he was with Golden State, he was playing D. Yeah, you right. Well, he was playing some D. He blocked shots. It was money time now. We're gonna survive. Uh -huh. <laughs> the big old fat guy with the bullhorn. Murphy for three. Cash. 76-82. New Orleans not done. New Orleans is not done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They got a steal. New Orleans going to buckle down on defense. They're going to brand the name room. Murphy from D. Don't tell me all about stuff. You'd have made that. Murphy just pulled out a heat chat. Uh -uh. Oh, that's good D. Sure. Good play right there from CJ. CJ's hit a jumper. Ooh, did he? Oh, three, oh, okay, I see you. I see what you mean, the heat check. I just got that. 
He uh, hit one dick came back and hit the other. Yeah, I'm trying to, try to let it go from deep. Yeah. And CJ just hit a three. Who did he? Oh, he did, did he? He I just seen it. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they go to experience. They go to they go to playoff experience, like mm -hmm. see what it gonna turn out to be. They go to run shit. Um, uh, what's the name? They gonna stop? If uh, Timberwolves, if the Thunder go stop that run, North fight. I'll tell you. Yeah. Mm hmm. I got a commercial break right now. Yeah. Mm, that's crazy. We got a commercial break. But now, who you got winning this? I still got uh, New Orleans coming back to win. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got him winning the series. You got him? Seven nine eighty two. Yeah, seven fifty to go. We come OKC off of a turnover by New Orleans. Got Shay going to the line for two. And New Orleans got opportunities to win the game. They're just fucking around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they can't do that too long. Stop playing with this team.
So Shay just tried to hit him, hit him with a wild three. Yeah, he, was, he, was really, he was really good player, though. I got to give him credit. I don't think nobody thought he was going to turn into what he turned into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like him. Let's see if they come out with this Rick victory. It's not over yet. Uh-oh. They keep scoring, though. Okay, like like Uncle Vine said, okay, see, got people we ain't never heard of. They said they're going to do what now? I said well, there's people in Oklahoma City that we never even heard of. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know I have. Um, CJ. CJ in the mid range. Uh oh. Clutch. It's 83 87. Four point game. They still hanging around. Well, free throws. So the dog of mine coming through the back. Uh, you say what flight? The salute to you, uh, laughing out tonight. Oh, okay, all right. <clears throat> on, this, on this line, trying to do something, you know, trying to resuscitate things. Oh, yeah. The slush of the line. Just gotta keep, just gotta keep going, man. All right. We're rocking out right now. Tomorrow we got LeBron James. We're gonna look out tomorrow night. Who knows what the Knicks going to do? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be watching. Uh-oh. Can the one seal the deal? Shea for three. Oh, in and out. Shea so clutch. And so he playing so calm, cool, and collect as a matter of fun. He's so calm that it's scary. Because I don't know where, where it's coming from. Oh, he got Shea. That series against the Clippers will be entertaining. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, you know, you got you know, Paul George and Shane got traded for each other. Okay. Yeah, I remember when he was out, like you said, when he was with the Clippers. I remember when he was playing for them. He got drafted by the Clippers. Yeah. The Warriors just called the timeout. Yeah, if 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 if, uh, if the Thunder has to assist, they wouldn't let him go. They give him whatever he wants. Shout out to Mark. He said, "Okay, see a self destructor." Some good basketball on that. Oh, we said we should be getting better and better as they advance. It's always good to have meaningful basketball games. Lamont says we get three games tomorrow. Two games will be on at the up. It's usually like that in the first round. They're trying to get everything on at one time. Put, put your picks down. You know, it's never too late to put your picks down. Who you got? LeBron James, the king. They're gonna have to come back and do something tomorrow. They can't fly. Uh, we'll see what Joel will be if he's gonna be able to stand up for for a long time. You know, is he gonna collapse again? All these things I'm gonna be paying attention to tomorrow. Oh yeah. That music don't make sense. Run in the house. So it's all young chat. My mom says I have no confidence in my life. I just can't wait for the queen to retire. I go, oh, wow. The queen. We back with it, man. Shea Gill just went we in the fourth quarter right now as we speak. Uh, the MVP of the league. Uh-oh. Big time three ball. Uh-oh. We got a tie ball game right now. Uh, it's 3.50 to go. Uh, it's 88-88. Uh, I got uh, Dort with the rack. Brandon Ingram picking up Lou Dort. They kick it out to Williams. Larry Nance on him. They give it to playoff Shea. Playoff Shea. He turns it over. Here comes Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram all the way to the cup, and he scores it. Uh-oh, the New Orleans Pelicans take the lead. 
It's 90 to 88, 334 to go. We got a timeout by the Oklahoma City Thunder. They need to have a conversation. It's like that. I'm telling you, you better look out for New Orleans. They got all of the pieces, man. I'm telling you. You know, this is a young team. They need to figure it out. Now, Ingram, Valanchunas, you know, they all need to band together and get the job done. I think Jonas was, wasn't he on that team? Um, was he? I'm not sure. No, I think he got traded. You know, I'm too eager. I thought he was on that Raptors team. But he's been in a lot of playoff games. They all, CJ, they all need to band together and, and, and try to get these games, especially when OKC having a little bit of trouble. It says run the offense, OKC, Shea can't do it alone. There you go. They Right now is the playoffs. It's not like the regular season. Coming down the stretch in the playoffs is different from coming down the stretch, you know, on NBA TV on the Wednesday. You know, it's different right now. It's a little more harder. You know, and it's only going to get harder and harder because they're going to lock in on the OKC. Same thing, vice versa. So you got a young coach, too, over there uh, with OKC, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Willie Green, he's a young coach, too, but he was with Phoenix. He's been around a little bit. He's been around the wards. We're coming back where it all commercial break. Um Let's see if OKC can get it done. It's 90 to 88, 330 to go. Here comes Dort. He has the rock. He's bringing the ball up the court. Brandon Ingram picking up Dort. Um, here it goes. Uh, Williams has the ball picked up on Murphy. They're kicking it out. Uh, Shea Gill just nearly loses it, and it's a turnover. They, they flopping right now, y'all, as they, they sell it. Uh, uh, we're sitting there with it, man. It's uh, 90 to 88. Who will survive this encounter? 309 to go, a turnover. Uh, so, OKC, they get it back. So, New Orleans got to be um, careful right now. It says they keep running isolation like, yeah, it's bad. It's not told you. Here comes Williams. He has it. They're taking Shea off the ball. I don't know why they're doing that. But I like they got um, Herb all over Shea. Uh, here come Williams in the mid-range. Larry Nance all over him. New Orleans playing defense. They kick it to Chet. I mean, a, oh, man. They had a mismatch, too. And they, what happened? Oh, okay. New Orleans just blew it. They just stepped out of bounds. Well, that was the dumbest shit ever. See, that, that, was, that was like, come on, it's winning time. You can't turn the ball over like that. Now, OKC scored. That, that play is going to bite them. You know, like you can't you can't have plays like this. It's money time. Uh, the score is ninety to eighty eight. Playoff Shea is in full effect. Who will survive this encounter? It's two forty nine to go in the fourth quarter. OKC is inbounding. Williams is inbounding. We got Murphy guarding the inbounder. Williams kicks it to playoff Shea for three, and he missed it. Rebounded by Herb Jones, not on her. Oh man, another turnover. Chet Hogan has it, and another turnover. Uh, <clears throat> oh, what's going on? The referees, the who ball is it? It looked like this New Orleans ball. Jump ball. Okay, we got a jump ball. So it's getting very competitive right now. It's a two-point game, 239 to go in the fourth. Who will survive? Playoff Shea is out there going up against Brandon Ingram and company. This is going to be a crucial finish. Two-point game. We got Chet Holgram and Larry Nance jumping. You know, it's a jump ball situation. Who's going to get this jump ball? Don't don't rule out Larry Nance. He get up now. Larry Nance, get up. Who got, oh, what's going on? Oh, we got a coach's challenge. Wow. No, we got a timeout. The coach's challenge, pardon me. We got a coach's challenge. No, that's crazy. Come on, man. They screwing up the flow of this game. This game is flowing. So it's crazy. Who's going to survive? We got a two-point game. No Zion works. This one, if they had Zion, man, they would have ran over this team. Zion got to hurry up and get back. <laughs> you know what's going to be the conversation if they lose. Oh, Zion, really Zion his health. Zion. Yeah. Zion. That's messed up. He had a good year. He's staying healthy. But too bad is going to end with, with what's up with Zion. You know, so it's, it's, it's crazy. And we got a 
good game going on right now. Um, unbelievable game. Um, them so they keep running isolation like in the regular season. That's facts. We got a commercial break right now. Uh, New Orleans is up by two. You know, they're the eighth seed going up against the number one seed. So, you know how that go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two thirty nine to go. Let's see who's gonna survive. Put your picks down now. Who y'all got winning this game? I said New Orleans from from opening tap. I got New Orleans winning this series. So let's see what happens. New Orleans got experience. They're like all OKC guys, they they lacking experience. Checking out this coach's challenge. I was wondering what the hell. Oh, yeah. yeah, I would be surprised they go to overtime. Uh, I was gonna say that. Um, I didn't want to say that. Uh. So the challenge was successful. My coach's challenge. What the hell is going on? They said they're delaying the hell out of this game. You said what now? So they're just delaying the hell out of the game. I already know. A lot of commercials and everything else. I already know. That's the NBA of the day. It's entertainment. Oh, yeah. Too much explaining going on. Uh, the final the game starting back up. New Orleans up two, two thirty to go in the fourth. Larry Nance all the way to the goal. Oh, Larry Nance has missed a crucial dunk. That was stupid. I kick it back to Shea. Couldn't 
about it. I go. CJ, kick it out the BI. Got a charge. One forty eight to go on the fourth. Uh, CJ, the one is, Brandon Ingram has it. They kick it out to Murphy. Brandon Ingram for three. Ah, uh, they get a rebounds. New Orleans secured like two or three offensive rebounds. And the game is tied up. Virgin Seizure to Larry Nance. Oh, that was a gold time. Yo, Chet just blocked the hell out of him. That should have been a gold time. That was crazy. Hmm. Wow. Yo, New Orleans had a whole bunch of chances to finish them. Oh, Shay just hit a three point play. Wow, that was crazy. Yo, he swat he splashed on. That was all net too. That was a big play by Shay. That was crazy. Where do you see that play? And Chet, uh, uh, Shay just completed a three point play. They got a timeout right now. Uh, New Orleans got another shot at it. It's not over just yet. How much time left? Uh, I think a couple of seconds. 
And what's the score? Uh, still, it's a three-point game. Uh, okay, see up three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm coming back with it right now. No, oh, it's not over just yet. CJ just hit a mid range. It's 92-93. They double. Oh, they doubling. They might need to foul somebody. They foul chat. And they don't have any timeouts, it looks like. Nobody got timeouts. Hmm. So that was 14 seconds. They sent a chat to the line for two. So... So probably if Chet made both of these free throws, they probably was banking on Chet missing one of them. But it really don't matter. Let me see. I can't say that. It don't matter. Oh, Chet just missed the first one. Uh-oh. Chet oh. missed the first free throw. They only down one. So they don't have to go for a three. Do they got a timeout? I don't see no. They might have a timeout. They sit and see CJ going to the, to the, to the bench. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Man, it's crazy. This game going off right now. will Go. New Orleans got a shot. Down two. I said we're going to overtime. And CJ got it. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Uh-oh. CJ. Oh, it's over. They, they missed it. CJ, CJ should have passed the ball. You know, that was, that was a tough shot. Oh, that was crazy. Unbelievable. Crazy matchup, y'all. Salute to OKC, man. You know, CJ, he took a tough shot. You know, you can't make that up. Um, it's, just, it's just sad. We gotta figure this shit out. Listen, make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. You already know it's Flight Sports TV.
Peace and love. Flight Sports TV, man. That's my dude. I rose with him. You're with the man said. It's Flight Sports TV.